Well, thanks very much, Dwayne. A Saturday afternoon game here at the SCG. It's a bit of a rarity, but uh, the turn on beautiful conditions. Not a breath of wind down here. A little bit of cloud cover for the guys to keep them a little bit cool. The ground is a little bit lush, so the boys might have to find their uh, their long stops today. So a little bit slippery, but perfect conditions all in all. And, uh, and boys, with Barry Hall being out, I suppose a lot of the forward duties go to Michael O'Loughlin. I watched him a, a couple of weeks ago. He has been under the pump with his uh, with his retirement, I suppose. And uh, and. His, his form was a little bit down, but last week he really turned the corner, set up a, a couple of goals and, and really turned it on. So uh, look for a pivotal point for, uh, for Michael O'Loughlin today. Boys, have a good call. Thanks, Rowan. And you are interviewing Barry Hall at half-time, I understand. Mm. Is that correct? Yes, I am. I, I'm actually... Well, Barry's going to stop the, uh, his car right in front of us. He's going to get out. I'll interview him at half-time mm. and he'll get back in and uh, continue on his cavalcade. You have some explaining to do. You did in that pre-game with the gentleman before, call him the missing link. I'll let you explain that in this context to Barry Hall a <laughs> little later that, on. Boys. Trying to get him at the Bulldogs. <laughs> uh, well, he might be the missing link for the Western Bulldogs. Toss of the coin, as you saw earlier, Adam Goods winning the toss, and the Swans will kick left of screen, and not a bad crowd in for what is the crucial contest, eighth versus tenth. It certainly is, and just even looking at the players that are heading forward for Sydney Lynch, you've got Lewis Roberts-Thompson heading forward, and you've got Ted Richards heading forward. Ed you've Barlow. also got Ed Barlow heading forward. Now, these are players that don't traditionally play up forward, but they've had to fill holes. You've got Michael O'Loughlin, in a sense, the only true forward there. Jude Bolton, midfield, half forward. Luke Ablett, the Luke same. Forward, but yeah. uh, Barlow, LRT and Richards. It's going to be an interesting forward setup for the Swans. It is a very interesting setup with... Uh, Ryan O'Keefe in the midfield and uh, everyone spoke about uh, O'Keefe's slow start to the season and he was only averaging those uh, 15 disposals in the first five games. He's really bounced back and well up into the mid-20s since that time and uh, he's up in the midfield. Obviously his fitness and form is going very well so they'll need some goals out of him although he's not going to be a stationary forward target. He'll kick and carry the ball a long way today. Umpires today, Matt Stivick, Simon Meredith and Troy Pennell. And Paddy Ryder in the middle to go at it. Yep. No, with Darren Jolly. no surprise with Bolton on Lloyd and Grundy on Lucas. And we're underway at the SCG with a perfect opening bounce. Ryder, a little palm down. Straight to Goods though. Quick in. Caught. And love it. Little sidestep and a long bomb towards full forward. Remus down oh. there. Bevan with the fists. And Remus might cut this off. He can't get there in time. And once again, he's produced those beautiful, we we'll call them red, but there's a little, little pink in them, boots, <laughs> so we can identify him quickly. Massive job for Heath Hocking. He's following Adam Goods, a hard tag. Let's talk Sam Lonergan into wearing Play some on, radical boots as well today. Sam Lonergan in the gold. Well, the lemons there, Play as you can see on the left up. of your screen. They just, the white boots just don't stand out anymore, do they? No. They've taken to a new level of the young blokes. Well, some have gone to the radical all black. That's cutting edge. Exactly. <laughs> Kirk in the white boots. Kicks to the midfield. Ted Richards, former bomber, and he drops it. Well, good work to make up for the mistake. Yeah, mopped up his mess well. Jude Bolton, Grundy, Ablett back into the team. This week, been in and out the last couple of years. Luke Ablett, but back in and Goods. Didn't get there. That was a bump ball. And does he get the benefit of the doubt here that he didn't know? He oh. does. Well, he absolutely knew. Right. He's just trying to pull it over the uh, umpire's eyes. There's no doubt there. Bounced. It bounced just before the arm. Tell you what, Heath Hawking's going to cover some miles today, chasing Adam Goods around. It's Kirk wobbles one across the boundary line on the full. He was beaten last week, Adam Goods, by Josh Gibson, wasn't he? Yeah, I think yeah, so. he was. Gibson was very good last week, mm. um, but yeah, it's a big ask for a young player in hockey. Another very interesting matchup out there, though, Lynch, is Joe Watson, who's just marked the ball slipping over, and the man standing the mark, Ryan O'Keefe. Yeah. yeah, coming back from injury, Joe Watson's going to know he's uh, in a game with plenty of run. Yes, yeah, so it was an ankle injury as well, so it's not as if it's a finger injury that uh, he won't have to worry about running wise. Windelick wide. Love it. Short. Lonigan in those gold boots. And Remus on the move in the red boots. Can't get there. Punched away from him. Dyson pounces. Tries a centering bouncing ball. Well played, Grundy. Played in front. Gathered close to the line and not able to be kept in. 
We'll get a ball in. Yeah, good defensive work from uh, Heath Grundy on that occasion. Scotty Lucas was uh, tearing back towards the goal square. Grundy took up the uh, front position. And the ball was just too far away to get the long kick over the top to Scotty Lucas. So well read, well played. Jolly, little of use of the hands there on Ryder. Edge him under it, but Davey slick. Windelick, Watson, that tested the ankle out and passed the test. Remus. Gee, he's developed as a footballer, Joe Watson, hasn't he? His ability to maintain his composure under all that criticism when people said he was slow, he doesn't kick the footy well. Well, it was more that kind of target that he would miss yep. in years gone by. Yep, he didn't panic. He half slipped, but he still got around uh, one Sydney Swan defender. And then that's a beautiful kick just into the space in front of Remus. The opening score of the afternoon here at the SCG. Perfect. Bombers get the first half dozen. And we see in that sort of situation that uh, if, you, if you play behind as a defender, especially when the ground is a little bit uh, lush, as uh, Ronald Smith was saying before the game, it's a bit lush and there's a coating of mud on top, you're just not going to be able to have the grip on the ground to hit the front. And uh, that was a very nice pass, so very tough to defend on the best of days. But uh, you're going to slip a little bit as a defender, so you've got to be very careful. You've got touch and contact with your opponent all the time. Fourth goal of the year for Kyle Remus. Good start on Bevan. A couple of tough hombres, so that'll be a good battle to watch as well. Ryder with the flick back. Watson read it, was in his direction, but it was a bit too hard for him. Lonigan tried to scoop it back to Watson. Smith came in hard. Back towards Lonigan, fighting on well. Dyson rides the bump. Windelick, they've started well, the Bombers. Looping ball over the top, Welsh pokes it wide, misses the target, love it, who fails to even chase Jack. Roberts Thompson, puts off to Barlow, he could, he's a long yeah, kick, short, right by Lockman, they want to get him into the action early. Turnovers kill you in football, don't they? Andrew Welsh had the ball in the middle of the ground, just coming out of the square, and he tried the short pass that was intercepted by he's Kieran right Jack, who's got the job on Andrew Lovett. And the quick rebound, all of a sudden, bang, bang, bang. And there's the turnover. Terrific uh, anticipation from Kieran Jack attacking the footy, too. Yeah, but your call, Duane, was spot on. Andrew Lovett just did not look like chasing. Now, he wasn't going to get him, but no. it's about putting pressure on uh, the ball carrier, and there was just no pressure from behind. You're never sure if the ball carrier bounces the ball and doesn't come back to yeah. him. O'Loughlin, who's been 50-50 at goal this year. 10-10 coming in today. Perfect there. We spoke about Mickey O'Loughlin, about his, his smart uh, use of the ball up in the forward line. Even if he's not kicking goals, he, he can set up goals. And with those goals just last week, he was a very important player in the game against the Kangaroos. Now, he, we know he can find space. And that was beautiful use from Ed Barlow. He, he's got the capabilities to kick a long goal as well. Nice passing to Mickey O'Loughlin. If he can get his confidence up early, he's going to be a handful. Game 296 for Michael O'Loughlin. Just weeks away now from becoming the first Swan ever for 300 games. He's already played the most games ever by a number 19 in the history of the game. <laughs> Free kick from the ball up. Okay, you heard it. Against well, Jolly, Darren. went across the line and blocked Paddy Ryder with an arm. And the centre bounces that we've had so far, Darren Jolly's been looking at Paddy Ryder and, and going across and, and taking his jump every time. Remus, good give to Davey, wide, Lucas dives and not on the good side for a left footer. In fact, he's not even going to get the kick. He thinks he marked it, Scotty Lucas. He's a pretty honest guy too. Yep. From the ball in. Oh, Dyson to take the free here. It's against uh, Ree Shaw. Ree Shaw. Just worried, perhaps, Dyson getting goal side of him. Not arguing too much with the kick. You often get away with a little bit of holding around the contest, but you got pinged on occasion by the referee, or the umpire, I should say, that was uh, downfield a little bit. Just having a look there, left of screen. Yep. Just let you allowed Dyson to get goal side, and then he was chasing. Wasn't a lot in it, and the footy gods <laughs> believe there wasn't enough in it for that to deserve a goal. Bombers lead by behind from Mickey Dyson's boot. 
Another matchup to watch, uh, boys, in the Essendon forward line is Alwyn Davey on Jared Crouch. So uh, look to Alwyn Davey to use his speed today, especially with Crouchy having those uh, hamstring problems over the last couple of months. So uh, we'll try and stretch him today. And I think Smithy was right about the surface too. They Double certainly go, should go, have the long up. stops on. Is this a mark? Well, I don't think it was. He thinks he took it, but yeah. I think the ball did hit the ground. But we're already seeing players slip over. Good tackle that from Winderlich. Paul back in Lovett's direction and Davey stole it from him. Oh, one tackle. hand pinned. Classic tackle from Smith. Not rewarded, but no prior opportunity perhaps. Matner, Slick, Joy. Crouch, O'Keefe. Not his usual tidy disposal there. Hurley did well. Game number two to Pears, the future of the Essendon back line. Remus, Stanton. And try right there. Push out four. Play on. And now the bomb. Lloyd, Goods, over the top, fantastic. Great mark from Goods, good work from Craig Bolton to hold Matthew Lloyd down as well. The Swans are pushing big numbers behind the ball and just pushing their forwards right up the defensive side of centre as well. Craig Bolton in the Ted Richards direction, thumped clear of him by Hurley, another one-arm tackle by Lewis Roberts Thompson. That time was on pairs, not awarded, Prismal to Watson. Corralled by Jude Bolton. Good kick. Back in board, Dempsey. And now Wobbler. And, and it's a Wobbler that got the journey to Remus. Wide ball. Ryder. Winderlich takes on Matna. Not a great idea. Handball towards Lucas. Manhandled by Grundy. Who's over him? Craig Bolton. Dumped in the turf by Lloyd. Ball's still alive. Lucas, can he get it off? Davey. He went around the post. Davey off the deck. Touched by Barlow. I'd like to see that again because I think the hands were around the post from Scotty Lucas. This is Adam Goods just dropping back to give wow. Craig Bolton a chop out on Matty Lloyd. Good strong mark. They're away here, the Swans. This goes over the back. Oh, even better. Or if he takes a grab like that. Gets it off to Bird, does Michael O'Loughlin. High kick. Best Primmy was in the seat, but he couldn't take the mark. Ablett. Pierce. Hits the ground. And we'll have a look at this win. It went around the post or not shortly. It's to whether and that it should have been still alive. Well, there it was we perilously close. Have a look. He's got the post there. He just he, he tapped the ball one side and was then trying to go back around the other side of the post. Kept it alive well, Scotty Lucas. May have even touched the padding. Ablett to Bevan. Now Michael O'Loughlin. Sold the dummy to Fletcher. A little shimmy. And now high. Richards can't get a fly at it. Jolly. Can't get a set. Now he does. Kicks by the by Hurley. Well played by the second gamer. There's Primmy. Jolly. All the way back. Crouch. He can go for goal here on the left. Crunch by Davey. Roberts Thompson. And that's always the way. The dirty old floater comes in towards the forward. And if he's in front, it's going to be a nice, easy mark. And uh, so often you see that. Great smother on Darren Jolly's snap for goal. He's getting a little bit ambitious, the big fella. A bit hard to turn on that slippery surface. But uh, Michael Hurley with the good smother. Yeah, Jared Crouch, just a little floater off the left foot. Even defenders kick them from there. That's his second of the year. Lewis Roberts Thompson. And they'll need players like Lewis Roberts Thompson, Ted Richards, as we spoke about, Ed Barlow, a few of the taller players that are used to playing down back to be able to take marks up in the forward line. Now that they haven't got a big target up there, we know Mickey O'Loughlin finds some space, but he's never going to take any big contested grabs. But some good use of the hands and vision to flick it out the back and get it towards some space where Jared Crouch was. So good effort, good goal, four points up the Swans. He was struggling a month or so ago, Lewis Roberts Thompson and Triple Brownlow medalist Bobby Skilton just called him out of the blue Here we go. and let Lewis Roberts Thompson know how much he admired him as a footballer. Loves coming to the football to watch him and have him a big boost, LRT. To hear that from Bobby. Right. Jude Bolton dubbed off the ball from the ball up, couldn't get the clearance. You gotta knock it out. And Come the out umpire long. telling them to get that out, and Watson does get it out toward Lloyd. Hands on it, couldn't take the mark. Windelick the crumb, Dyson, he's already had a cider, roll, wobble, tumble, goal. Bombers are back in front.
They don't write how they went down in the scorebook, do they? That was just a rolling flat punt. But I tell you what I did like about this. A great clearance from Joe Watson. Look at Jason Winderlich. He reads where the contest is and he gets there straight away front and square from behind the contest. That is a tremendous effort. Great anticipation from Jason Winderlich. He knew the ball had to go to the front of Matty Lloyd, who was battling with Craig Bolton. And he got there first. He was the one that got the hand pass out and set up the goal for Dyson. Dyson with Winderlich and Watson leading possession getters on the ground at the moment. In fact, the Bombers have the best three possession winners to this point in the game. 14 plays, 12. Another good bounce. And this time Pike, the late inclusion for Jared McVeigh. Late exclusion for the Swans in the ruck. Mine. And he'll get a chance to go at it again, Mike, Mike Pike, in Thanks, game number three. And also an area that the uh, the Bombers are dominating at the moment in the first 12 minutes, uh, Dwayne, is the inside 50s. It's 8-2, to two, so the Bomber, uh, the Swans have gone inside their 50 twice for two goals, and uh, the Bombers are in, going for their ninth at the moment. So this is their ninth in forward 50 entry. Oh, and Remus, Super it was kick. more difficult to get out of the way of that pass <laughs> than it was to mark it. Matty Lloyd will go back and have the shot from 50. Well, we know Craig Bolton's one of the best defenders in the competition. He was right behind Matty Lloyd, but the kick actually dropped turned a little bit over right to left right into the spot where Matty Lloyd was leading you watch the kick as it comes forward it just turns over a little bit at the end right into that little pocket of space he couldn't have asked for a better kick Matty Lloyd Kieran, Kieran. not sure if it's a big occasion up here for the Lloyd family this weekend but wife Lisa seat 1A on the plane up this morning not bad off the boot and her boy's doing well. Bombers lead by eight. And a really good start for the Bombers. They're working well in through the, the centre corridor and the run of Winderlich, Watson and, and Dyson as well is getting involved with his one goal. But they're starting to really run and carry the ball. We know that's the big danger for the Sydney Swans is if the ball carriers for the Essendon side start getting their hand on the ball, it's going to be tough to stop them. They've got to try to get numbers around the stoppage and really block it up and stop that run if they're a chance to win this game. Give each other run, Jude Andrews. I suppose there is a minor milestone of sorts. He passes Don McKenzie today to become the eighth player on the all-time Essendon Games played list. Matty Lloyd creeping up the Games played list. 267 for him now. Of course, his seventh all-time on the AFL-VFL goals kick list. Continues to creep up that as Bolton continues to creep toward this ball. Gets it outside 50. Tie up with Barlow. He's mauled. And the umpire calls for a ball up just as the ball is raked free. Rowan Smith. Well, Dwayne, back. Kyle Remus just back. came to the bench before the uh, the, uh, the doctors. We'll just have a look at his left eye. So he might have just got a little bit of a poke or maybe a little bit of grass in there. They've cleaned it out and should be back on in a minute. Lots of tambour style by Good. Just pulled the kick at the last minute. Hooker. Fletcher. Stanton. Love it. And all the way out to Kale Hooker, who started on the bench. Had a hard time of it in the ruck last week against Josh Fraser. Kale Hooker had a lesson of sorts. Hocking. Oh, right is free. How good is that? He can march in here. He decides Dempsey. to pull oh, up. Dempsey, sorry. Great so work, Courtney right. Dempsey from about 35. And Pat Heath hocking on the back. He had options everywhere. He had players screaming. He had short leads coming directly at him. He had a couple of players looking for the hand pass. But he had a look at all his options first. And he saw Dempsey streaming into an, a vacant attacking 50 and it was just a long kick uncontested chest mark should result in a goal terrific option from Heath Hocking and if you've joined us for the biggest lead of the game so far 14 points he can't now the goal Courtney Dempsey who also started on the bench today for the Bombers plenty of rotations again you would expect sure Chips it outside defensive 50 and not a lot of players there to go to. Pears cuts it off. Davey scoops it up. Hocking. He could go all the way here and he misses to the near side. Sydney Hocking. Uh, really starting to struggle with their, their kick outs on a number of occasions now. They're struggling to find targets or, or get a clear a clearance outside their defensive 50. Oh, yeah, Bevan played on strife trouble again. there. Bombers are on top. They just haven't capitalised on all their opportunities. Missed a couple they should have kicked. 
So Craig Bolton is released here if he wants to go. Jolly's just come off the bench. He's out on the wing all on his own, but I don't think they're going to be able to get it to him. Well, if he yells and calls for it, the Bombers will realise he's there as well. <laughs> <laughs> he's caught in between. And Craig Bolton didn't know he was there, so he goes to Ted Richards. That was an exceptional kick to find Ted Richards. Now, they're in the forward half for Essendon, they've got a zone set up. They're man on man picking up the Sydney Swans at the other end of the ground. Very effective at the moment, find it very difficult to run it out. Berman to O'Keefe, spectacular grab that. Needed to be too because he was under pressure. In board to Shaw, who's in hot form, possession wise. Jolly now with the leap. Hands weren't quite there. Watson dragged down, dispossessed. Kirk ducked into that tackle. Umpire didn't fall for it. Goods missed it. Best Premier didn't. He could go all the way from the paint. He misses behind. Brilliant girl last week. There's Premier, but the celebration was even better. Made highlights tapes around the world. That one wide from Dempsey. Early. Half-back flank. About to tick into time on opening turn. Well, that's a win for the Swans. Just been able to stop the run for at least a few seconds for the Essendon side. Back to Pierce. Pierce back to Hurley. Trouble here. Hurley caught. Two Swans went to Hurley. That left Pierce free. Lloyd with the reach. Couldn't bring it down. Craig Bolton and O'Keefe share it. You heard the touch call from the umpire. Lewis Roberts Thompson. Hurley wraps him up. Looks like Luke, Luke Ablett down and a fair amount of discomfort from Matthew Lloyd's jump at the mark just a few seconds ago. Big knee in the back. Let's have a look at the replay here. Mm. And uh, that is not a great feeling. Knee to the kidneys. The ball in. Ryder, McVeigh, Pierce. Davey on the move. Bounce pass is good. Turns Crouch inside out. Uses some speed. Heads wide. Dyson. Boundary line beats him. Quite a good spot for a ball in for the Bombers. And Luke Abbott's still in a fair amount of dis discomfort as the doctor just gets him to his Marty, feet now. Ma Marty Matner. Marty Matner, was it? Sorry. He's got one right in the back, right in the kidneys. And the ball in. There is Abbott, so he's OK. And Matner will be coming off. Craig Bolton to Grundy. Nowhere to kick. In fact, they're a man down at the moment because he has to walk from one side of the field to the other for the Swans. Smith back to Grundy. So it's 17 on 18. And they're getting frustrated. I'm sure Swans fans are getting frustrated to say, why don't they kick it? It's because there's no one further afield to kick it to. They're all manned up. They're all contests that oh. are probably going to result in a turnover. That was a very easy, soft push to the back. Well, Three against pairs there. Yeah, it's that, he, he paid the push. It was that hands in the back, though. He touched yeah. him on the back, which is the rule now. And this a long kick to the square. Jolly's down there. Ryder tried for the big one. Love it. Stayed down for the crumb. Lucas McVeigh. Back into the team this week, of course. Missed the target, so maybe a little rusty. Good option. Oh, Jack off the deck to O'Loughlin. How do you like him? That was laced out soccer style. Well, Mark McVeigh had the ball deep in defence, and he wanted just to kick it out in front of Andrew Lovett, but I don't think Andrew Lovett was on the same wavelength. He didn't quite read the kick, and then when it came... Jack just won the contest at ground level, and that's a good option. He was one against three. He said, I'll just get it going forward. No doubt he wasn't intending to hit Michael O'Loughlin, but he got it into a dangerous area. Nice lace out. Oh. He'll be claiming that. Well, you like those as a forward, too. Ashley hasn't played for a couple of weeks, Mark McVeigh. He was out suspended for a week and then dropped yep. last week, but didn't play in the reserves, so kind of dropped for drinking with Dean Solomon, but not really dropped. As O'Loughlin drops this through the middle for his second. Inside 50 is still very much in favour of the Essendon Footy Club, but 12 to 7. But uh, if Mickey O'Loughlin's got on a fortunate one, and that's come about. We're a bit unlucky, the bounce there, and some good work from Kieran Jack. But they've managed to hold Essendon in their defensive half for that uh, two minutes there without giving them the run that they've had the first part of this game. They've been running very well, so their big ball carriers are getting good numbers. Two goals to O'Loughlin. By the way, McVeigh wasn't dropped for drinking with Dean Solomon. He was just dropped for drinking. They're not turning up to training. Dean Solomon just happened to be there. He was worried that it would hurt his captaincy prospects, Mark McVeigh, but didn't hurt Ricky Ponting from a ball up. Jolly. 
Andrew Simons didn't go too well with <laughs> it, though. Good point, yeah. High ball, off hands, Bird, caught high. First tackle high. And get Great it back Bird. quick while there's space in the forward line. Ed Barlow could find some space here. The lead's come. Still space. Malcheski. Uh, Lachlan to the pocket. Yeah, Dustin Fletcher's gone on to Michael O'Loughlin now. Uh, he's kicked a couple in the first yeah. quarter. Goods. That went eight metres, that kick. Yeah, barely the 15. Hands this off to Grundy. And he doesn't go for the big one. Pass off towards Lewis Roberts Thompson. Hooker got a fist on it. Bird, Jude Bolton, Bevan, about to get caught. Has short. Can roost a long ball from the paint all the way. Swans hit the post when they thought they were in front. And they do have the biggest, fattest padding in the business here at the SCG. And it's cost them. Stanton, it's a two-point game. It's been a good game, though. Eighth versus tenth on the AFL ladder. The Bombers in eighth spot, but they could drop out of the eight at the end of this round should they lose this one. Winderlich. McVeigh, such a good kick on the left foot from Jason Winderlich. He's been impressive in the first quarter. He's had uh, seven possessions now. And he's given away one goal to Ricky Dyson with a great hand pass. Here's the just touch oh. the inside of the padding. Doesn't even need to be that high, the no. Mark McVeigh from the pocket. Drifts across the face a little. Still in the field of play, but thumped through. A behind. And if you have joined us late, Mark McVeigh's little brother, Jared, a late exclusion from the Sydney Swans lineup. Mike Pike. The late inclusion is sure. Straight down the middle to O'Keefe. Good release, kick that. They're on here. Malcheski short. Pike, the man we spoke of, missed that. Hooker took on the tackler. Lost the ball. Roberts Thompson throws it up to Jude Bolton. Ted Richards, he's caught. Grabbed down by Pears in the back. No, holding the ball. Holding the ball. Terrific yep. tackle. Great pressure from the Bombers defence. A fair prior opportunity, could have given it on that occasion, brushed the, the tackle. And tried to turn him in the tackle as well, so he didn't just crash straight into his back. The, the poison aspect about that uh, flow of play was the Sydney Swans actually got out of their defensive half with the kicking, which was a big win. Lloyd on the wing. Three minutes from quarter time. Long opening term, we've played 25 minutes already. Davey. It's back. And backward to go forward, Stanton. Lucas, little nudge. Use of the elbows and not the hands in the back of Grundy. And again, it's on a poor side for a left footer. That was just bread and butter for an experienced yeah. He's team. He's a wily old forward. customer, isn't he? Yep, he was smart enough to know not to use the hands, had to protect his drop zone, and it's always very hard for a defender to push back. But you just hold your ground, and he's just dropped back and taken an easy regulation mark in the end. Pushed off with the forearm. And with the left, slots it. Bombers back out to nine points. Well, the crowd don't like it, understandably so. That to them, it appeared that he pushed off with the hands. But it's, it also seems to be a rule that they've relaxed as the season's progressed. And certainly this year, compared to last year, a little bit more leeway. You could argue that there might have been a hand involved been one as, hand. as much as there was a forearm involved. But you could almost argue that there was two actions there as well. Absolutely. In fact, in just about every body-on-body -body marking contest, there are two actions. So I don't like that as, a, as an excuse for paying a free kick full stop. And you'd probably rather the forward get the benefit of the doubt there. And Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you be, look, you be the judge at home. Are you happy with this as a mark? Well, the right hand mm. did touch the back. So, I mean, technically speaking, especially at the start of the year, that's a free kick. And, I mean, the interpretation is still the same oh, as it oh. is in the rule book. Out of the middle. Goods to the 50. Sends it long. Classic Brownlow medal form. And the two-time Brownlow winner. Now... This is just extraordinary athleticism. But what about how far he ran while juggling the footy? He's run 30 metres, tapping the footy to himself. Have a look at this. Mike Pike goes up, taps it straight down. One tap, two tap, three taps, four taps. And he's almost at the square when he actually takes possession without bouncing the footy. That is unbelievable stuff.
Good work from Mike Pike in the middle <laughs> of the ground. <laughs> and he hit that with his nine iron too. Had he hit that with the driver, Adam Goods, that would have been at the rugby league venue next door. And that's how they're designed. You see with that shot, there's no player for the Swans at centre half forward, so it clears the space, and that's for exactly that play. If you can get possession out of the clearance here and run through the space and get a shot on goal, is exactly what the Swans want. There you go, Watson, Winderlich, Prismal. Not the best of kicks. And Craig Bolton, Lloyd plays for a turnover free, claiming it was too high. Optimistic, I would have thought. Yeah, strange for Matty Lloyd to take a dive. Barlow. Oh, oh, little, Dwayne. Little clip from Dwayne. Oh, no, oh, no, you're good at it. Congratulations <laughs> to you. <laughs> You've got to try what you can try. There's rules that are made to be bent to your advantage. Adam Goods. Few of the big guns have got their name on the scoreboard. Lucas and Lloyd for the Bombers and Goods and O'Loughlin for the Swans. And that's what the crowd come to see. Some of the big guns in action. Matty Lloyd, Lucas, O'Loughlin. See, they've swapped around the Essen and defenders. They've mixed and matched depending on who's playing where. They haven't really worried about matchups, more so positions. And Watson's become a big gun as well. Gets that to Prismal. Now Stanton, Lucas short, better side for a left footer, needs to wheel around, can't. Good pressure, Grundy took him to the line. Yeah, Stanton just went short to Lucas, Lucas had just doubled back, so he was on the back foot, so he was never going to make the uh, make the mark on the full. Pike, oh, he tapped it to his opposite Ruckman, Hooker gives to Lloyd, kick smothered. Craig Bolton got there in time, Jude Bolton tries to thread it out, Lonigan. Half a hand held. Play on. Watson, umpire called play on, but he knows he's going to have to toss this in the air with 40 seconds left. This looks like a typical on, stoppage for the on. Sydney Swans, a massive players. That, that 30, 30 players 30, around 30 players there. Pike again got the knockdown, but almost straight to Watson. Richards got it from Kirk, gave it off to Bird, sends it long to O'Loughlin, feeding back Fletcher. Gets back in time, shoots it off. Clock starts to roll again. There's Fletcher. Clock seemed to be stuck there for a while. Hope it was just ours. McPhee. Either that or there'll be an extra eight seconds in this quarter. The mark taken by Hooker. Gives it off to Prismal. It's wide. Hurley. And now McPhee. They held up by Jude Bolt. Suspect they'd move it a bit quicker if they knew the time on the clock. Well, might be some controversy if they get a go on the last few seconds. Absolutely, because this and should be time. The siren should have sounded, well, according to the clock having stopped moments ago. Well, this may be a uh, very important shot. He's a long kick of the football, Matthew Lloyd. This is right on the cusp of his range, I'd suggest. He's going to have to kick from 55, 56 metres out. For the sake of a talking point, we need him to kick this. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, he did mark it five or six seconds before the siren went. Yeah, so it's for right. five or six yeah. seconds. It's yeah. all good. That's fine. I'm throw a wet blanket on it. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, they might win by behind. And there has been some thrillers between these two teams here. Matty Lloyd with a long launch. It might be short. And that's a behind. It wasn't forced through. It was off hands. Just confirming it. So a behind to the Bombers after the, after the, after the siren. And we've got a four-point game at quarter time. 4-5-29. Sydney Swans. 4-2. 26. Marty Matna. And the second term about to get underway. Four-point lead to Essendon. Jolly up against Ryder. Goods coming off a good first term to Kirk. Wide, Richards. Right on it, thanks, That's the mark on pairs. Too far out to score. Pass option short. Back Barlow within line, range. We know he's not overly reliable on accuracy, but gives the ball a big roost. I think he can get the journey. This just be a test on his skill, whether he can flush it straight. He's kicked six goals nine this year, so straightness hasn't been his forte. 
from outside the paint. That's nice. But it drifts again. It's gone over the fence. Only behind. He kicks the ball extremely well. And he passed the ball, as we saw to Mickey O'Loughlin in the first half, those low penetrating passes. But, uh, yeah, just the action. Gorgs again. Goal. Sorry, Alfred. No, that's right. I'm a little bit excited. I should keep quiet when now. He's about to go near the ball. O'Loughlin. All the big guns have come out to play today. Yeah, well, Dustin Fletcher slapped his hands together after that because he was the one responsible for Michael O'Loughlin when that ball went in. He misread the play. He went to cover a space. He knew where O'Loughlin was, and he missed his chance to go and cover him. Two goals in the opening term. Michael O'Loughlin, this to give the Swans back the lead. One of the 50 greatest goal scorers of all time. In AFL VFL history and the a terrible wrap. build up really was <laughs> a massive wrap you were just loading up with Dwayne well just I've got a couple down. of them here by the way you too oh. Alistair Lynch and Jason Dunstall in the box today he's in good form Adam Goods yeah he's seven disposals for the first quarter and the goal he's been on fire and Mickey O'Loughlin up until that shot on goal has been looking very nice as well McVeigh a spear and gee, Davey didn't read that very well. No, that's a couple of times Mark McVeigh's kick has been of good intention, but the uh, intended teammate hasn't picked it out. Watson, gee, I think that hurt the ankle, that left foot kick. He had a little goose step after that. Kirk gets it off. Barlow, Richards. O'Keefe caught and got it out. Got the arms free. Yeah, he thought his way through that extremely yeah. well. Didn't panic. Classic lesson for young kids there. If the tackle's coming, get the arms up. Oh. Crouch to O'Loughlin. Massive shot. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Fetch his ball. Well, you know, see, two actions, I don't like that as an excuse because there's two actions in just about every mark you go for unless you're just running and jumping at it. So everybody on body battle has two actions. I don't like that as an explanation by the umpire. No, all that's... he should say was, you pushed him out. You it was a big push. <laughs> That's all he's got to say, not two actions. Uh, the umpires also take into account, if you push a strong guy like Dustin Fletcher out of the way, it must have been a reasonable push. Yeah, well, so, that was a big push. You saw a big movement from the arms. So, up, hand in the back there, big well, shove. He went to ground pretty easy, big Dusty, that big strong guy you're yeah. talking about, Duane. Yeah, that rule was in the Bible, I think, under blessed are the meek, <laughs> because they inherit the earth in those contests most of the time. The, Wax weaker play the boy. Weaker <laughs> players tends to get the free. Barlow. Kirk. Looked at a couple. Sold a couple of dummies. Heads to Jolly. He heads longer. Double. Richards. Roberts Thompson. Big fly. Richards. Nice crumb. Missed the snap. Yeah, Mickey O'Donnell wasn't too impressed. But he's had the little snap around the corner on that occasion. Some great hands by the Swans out here on the wing in front of the commentary box. Winderlich. Mate, mate. Bounce pass for Slattery. Made it tough. Takes on Kirk and wins. Lucas had to be precise. That kick. He made it tough for Pears. Loose players on the wing, though. Dyson can run here. Yeah, got to run it. It's got McVeigh in support. And uses him nicely. Davy, Crouch with him. Oh. Fist from Crouch. Knocked it clear. Lonigan just overran it a little, then fell. Oh. Craig Bolton to Crouch. Handball smothered. Watson up towards Lloyd. Tucked in the pocket. Very kickable for Matty Lloyd. Opens it up and he nails it. Good forward line pressure bringing this about. I think it was Lonigan that put the hand up and caused the hand pass from Jared Crouch to be turned over. It went to ground and then a great hand pass from Joe Watson found uh, Lloyd. Have a look as it comes in here. There's the hand pass over from Watson. He's got great vision around the contest. Well read by Matty Lloyd. He had the strength just to change direction, break a, a pretty meek tackle and kick the goal. Easy as. Two goals now for Matthew Lloyd. One on each term. Back out to a seven-point lead. Okay. Jolly and Ryder in the ruck. And the good bounce for them. Jolly looked at Ryder, then looked at the ball. Got the palm down, but straight to Prismal. Dempsey, love it. Bombers are away again. Lee comes. Remus on the move. 
over his head. Matna hurt in the opening term. Dives in, beaten for it. Remus caught now, went to ground. Davey played for the free, didn't get it. Lonigan, love it. Chips in board. Goods again. It's a fingernail on it. Lloyd takes on the tackler. Craig Bolton, likewise, and didn't get it up. Lonigan dragged down. Fantastic contest this. Prismal gets it from Hocking, spins it around the body. And a drop mark from Jolly. Call in. You don't see him drop marks like that too often. Just a bit of extra time and space. He didn't really realise or know where the fence was or the post, but yeah, a uh, bit just off balance, wasn't it? Just spilled it. Jolly straight down to Goods. He spilled it and ducked through the tunnel. Jude Bolton. Barlow. Robert Thompson with a couple to beat here. Two bombers there. Pears. Tough one for Hurley. It was a bounce pass. Robert Thompson got it back. Fletcher dives in. Oh, well O'Loughlin. He lends a hand. He falls. Hurley gathers. Little slip again. Winderlich. Fletcher. Dempsey. Well, they've got numbers spare everywhere. Paddy Wright is in the 450 all by himself. Yep, and they'll get, get a goal out of this. He's, he's 50 clear of Jolly, but that's a poor oh. kick from Lucas, and that's probably cost him. Stanton looks up. We need he had to push up the ground yep. because of the poor kick. Remus, pocket. Yeah, Paddy Ryder, Paddy Ryder should have been marking that ball 10 or 15 metres inside the attacking mm. 50, not outside. It's all because of that poor square up kick from Scotty Lucas. Yeah, they just slaughtered a goal there, the Bombers. And lead by seven. Ryder knocked it down. Hocking had a piece of it, gets it back. Dives through traffic. Lonigan. Ball in the congestion. Short, Jude Bolton. Craig Bolton, Crouch. All had a piece of it. Tough one for Jack. He's got a couple of beat flexes, one of the two. Yeah, just a blind kick. Just kicking long, not knowing who was at the end of the ball. But it was all Essendon. Dempsey to Hurley. Little bounce on the cricket pitch. Tries to spear the pole. Oh! Remus! Big crab. It was a beautiful pass too, but Remus had to do it one against two. They've got their running game going at the moment, the Bombers. They're on top of Sydney. But they need to reward themselves on the scoreboard. They are dominating the inside 50s. 21 to 14. But have a look at this for a contested mark. Mm. Over Paul Bevan was the Ooh, one sitting hurt Bevan too. under the ball. Got the knee on the hip. You can wear those Larry slippers if you're taking catches like that every week. Just needs to reward himself with a goal. And he sinks the Larry slipper into the leather and misses. Eight point lead. I reckon they've played well enough to be three or four goals in front, the Bombers. But if you don't put Sydney away, you know they'll come at you at some stage. It's probably been more from Sydney's. Hang on, hang on. Two balls on the field at the moment. They've held it up. There's been some individual brilliance by Mikio Lockman up Adam forward, Goods. Adam Goods yep. as well, just to keep Sydney close enough. Okay. Mm. But they're actually getting quite outplayed at yep. the moment by the Bombers. Very sure. Coming off another 30 possession game oh. last week. Another fumble. Jude Bolton is coming off some pretty good games as well. I don't like the look of that on replay. Smith, yeah, a fumble. Badly, actually, this once. Dempsey, and he slips. He was away there, then he turns it over. Terrible. Crack. He had Hocking, he had uh, Lonigan in space, but he just didn't see him. They're blowing opportunities at the moment, yeah. the Bombers. On, you can see both both teams are really struggling to uh, get their footing on the ground. It is slippery. Nick Smith. And number six gets it off. Grundy. Barlow over the top to him again. And now Adam Goods. Can't get there for the jump. Almost got there for the crumb. Out of play. Just have a look at that footing. Here's uh, Jude Bolton. Just had it spent before he got there. And then he goes to change direction. And you can see it's a little bit slippery, a little bit damp, a little bit of mud on the ground. Right contest. Hooker almost threw that out. Stanton throws it on the boot. Lonigan. Oh, good grab. Floating ball. Tough one to mark. Sends it toward Lucas. Bouncing ball. Clever gather. Shoots it back. Winderlich. Inside 50, but poor. Great ball. Matna. Sure. 
Crouch heard the call, had to play on not 15. Bird, well, where they'll get hurt, the Bombers, ball. they've had all the play. But if Sydney finally go forward and kick a goal and square the game up, they'll feel very hardly done by the Bombers. But they've been very good. The normal run from Marty Matner and Reece Shaw off half back is just not there not at the moment for yep. the Sydney Swans. And when they did, like on that occasion there, there was certainly no uh, free targets to hit up. Interesting, interesting. We just saw some boys changing boots there, Smith. Are they all going for the, the uh, long screws? Yeah, virtually. All, no, uh, when all the uh, the boys are rotating off the bench, they're, uh, they're changing their boots. They're all in a big bag down here at the moment. So uh, more of the Essendon players are actually oh. changing their boots in the swan zone. Grundy. It's already got a contender for Mark of the Year. A good one, too. Yeah. Play play not 15. Barlow, not 15. Umpires have been hot on that today. Sure. Heads wide. Jude Bolton holds that one. It is funny, though, the reluctance of players to wear the screw-ins. They don't like them. Rowan Smith told us before the game, it's slippery, it's damp, you've got to keep your footing, you need to have the screw-ins, and yet they still start out with the moulders. Ablett with the snap. Hurley got a hand on that. Well, it's extraordinary, really. I mean, we walked across the game, uh, Graham, prior to the game as Grundy's yep. big grab. Not quite up there with his uh, Mark of the Year contender from earlier in the year, but it is actually slippery out there. You'd have to start in screw-ins and then maybe change down if you uh, if you thought it was safe enough later in the game. Lonergan pops that up for... Well, that was a good grab, McPhee. Barlow had a chance to spoil that, but McPhee used his foot well. Pass to nail Wendelik with the pass, missed him. Sure. Barlow, there's your not 15 call. Gee, they've gone hot on that all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah. That one looks 15. It was. Barlow takes them on. Kicks for the outside of the foot. Roberts Thompson with the oh. reach. Not paid it. Didn't have the third grab. So locked it across the line. You'd have hardly played with screw-ins, Jace, wouldn't you? You'd be the moulded man being I the full forward. I screw-ins every single game of my Did life. You? I was terrified I got bored out early about slipping over and didn't want to do that again, Lynchy. <laughs> That's right. Well, some coaches wouldn't let you play with moulded. No. My you, we're talking about a long, long time ago too, Dwayne. Mm. <laughs> Watson, shit, they, they used to bang your studs in today. <laughs> <Your> Jack <nails. laughs> kicks around the body, it's drifting, not enough. Uh, the ankles are up through the loops around the, uh, the, the laces up through the loops around the ankles. Oh yeah, I'm stitching my sides up listening to you too. <laughs> Paul Roos, not happy there, wants Bevo to do something. Andrew Welsh. Play on. Play on call. Chip kick OK. Lloyd, it's a long way up. Stanton. Prisoner. Wendelin. Well worked. Chance to extend this lead to the biggest margin of the game. The Swans are it's just struggling to stay with the midfield of uh, the Essen side. When they're carrying the ball out of defence, they're running well. There's plenty of numbers. As Matty Oyd took that uh, mark in the centre of the ground, he had plenty of running options. They're working very hard when they've got the ball, the Bombers, and likewise when they haven't. Fairly accurate this year. Ten goals, five. Jason Winderlich. Neither team has led by as much as two goals today. The Bombers lead by two goals now. He's had a very good start to the game, Jason Winderlich. He's had the 12 disposals, kicked uh, the one goal now. And this is the option. There was plenty of options running past Matthew Lloyd and not all had opponents from the Sydney Swans. And with that uh, change of direction there, it just opened up the, the fat side of the ground. And once again, the forwards were working very hard to find some space and made the most of that opportunity from 45 metres out. Bombers going fairly well at the moment, 12 points up. As Lynchy said, been in good form. Only missed the one game this year after just nine games last year. Missed the last 11 games last year with that back problem, the prolapsed disc from the ball up. Jolly slaps it down, but to Watson. Bombers get the clearance. Stanton. He predicted the box drop zone of the ball, but Bird was clever. Craig Bolton. And now Goods. Hacks it wide. Hurley with the fist on Roberts Thompson. Pairs. Combining pretty well, those two young players. To the old. Lloyd. Hooker. 
Can he get there? He rises. Got hands to it. Couldn't bring the mark down. Remus with the toe. Welsh, slick. Remus from 30. Can't finish. Madness. Well, they should be probably five goals up now. Yep. The, the Bombers have had plenty of the ball. They're about 20 plus up in the disposal count. And that's a regulation shot on goal for a class player like young Jason Windewick. But the kick handball ratio is uh, going extremely well. Cole Reamers. I think that's the third one I've missed, Jace, for the day. <laughs> we don't want to pot Jace Windewick. He's been very, very no, good. Right. Oh, no, I'm on fire. <laughs> We'll get Kyle Remus to wear a brighter set of boots for you, Lynch, if you like. I well, see what it's Watson and Windlick that are doing the damage to the Bombers. They're the oh. two best on ground, I think. Little nudge from Goods. Apaya said it was OK, and Robert Stolfson has it on 50. Do you get a little bit more leeway when you're a Brownlow medalist and one of the uh, competition stars in those sort of situations, Dwayne? <laughs> well, Sometimes he is I think you do. Best yeah. and fairest, of course. Yep. He wouldn't cheat. Long kick. Lachlan can't get there. Little bouncing ball. Slattery did well there. Let's have a look at that uh, throw in and what happened. Straight out, guys. Don't lock down. Gave a decent bump under the ball, yeah. Hogging. Hogging, not your regular ruckman no. either. Ryder, he got a bump from Pike, who got his own clearance there. Uh, won't be holding the ball. No. He didn't take it out of the ruck. It was certainly knocked back to him. He actually handballed the ball as soon as he got it, but yeah. it <laughs> went off a head and straight back into his hands. He got the fright of his life. Could be something for the future, for the clever. Get around that, not being able to take it out of the ruck rule. Pike with the slap down again. Watson will push to the side. Goods in quickly. Ablett. And we'll probably get a ball up here. Seven minutes left on the clock. Next look. 18 gone. Matthew Knights. Scott Camparelli. On his left. Class player in his own right. From the ball, knocked down. Fletcher dives in. Oh, Tend to forget how good a player Matty Knights was. 279 Thanks, games for the water. Tigers. He was Come a star. We know Paul Ruse is one of the greatest we've ever seen. From the ball up. Jude Bolton G had that. But he spent it before he'd earned it. Now has to lay a tackle. The yeah, umpire will sort it out again. Let's get it out, guys. Slowed up the time. tempo of the game at the moment. The Swans just stopping the run of the Bombers out of the back line, which they've been so good at so far in this game. There he is, Mr. Calm. Swans have never missed the finals in six full seasons under Paul Roos. With that record in danger if they don't win this one. Ablett jumped on it but got it out. Matt well, edged out of it. O'Keefe had it, lost it. Dempsey to love it. And he parts the seas, but his handball not good. Lodigan mopped up the mess and gave it back to him, and he's away. No one's in the square. Did he get legged? Or was it ball? He got tackled, but he just didn't hold the tackle long enough, unfortunately. It was a great chase by Jack. Welsh gives it up. Stanton, big chance here. Slattery, well, he could have gone for goal. Looped it wide. McVeigh wasn't ready for it. Stanton, goal square. Lucas, big leap, and Jolly in the spot there. All the way back into defence. So Keith, oh, right on. Oh, no. Has to be gone. She gave us some time there. Craig Bolton back to O'Keefe. Barlow takes on Lloyd. Look at the pressure from the Sydney floor, from the Essendon forwards. Fantastic. Stuff. That's what has been so good. It was great chase and tackling pressure from Sydney when Essendon had the ball. They had numbers running everywhere. And likewise now, when the Swans are trying to get the ball out, good chase from the Bombers. It's the biggest lead we've seen in the game. 13 points as it stands right now. Madner, a little fumble. Won't be something wrong with the ball. It's like one of those plastic ones you buy from the servo. Now Chesky over the head of Goods again. A skill mistake. Hocking. He'd be thrilled with that Hocking because he was caught five metres behind Goods and it went straight over Adam Goods' head. Bears, love it. Slattery. Stay clear, Luke. Luke, two metres back. Thank you. Moving Fly on. Parking some instructions on. to Luke Ablett. Ryder. Hold Nick, hold. Thanks, Luke. Play on. Coming off that tough game last week against Josh Fraser. Came back down to earth with a thud in the second clash against Collingwood this year. Paddy Ryder. This is Hurley. No one comes at him. Just keep running. Go at him. Draw and give. 
But he didn't want to turn it over. Maintained possession to Dyson. Lonigan, strong hands. The smart thing about that, you look at um, was it Hooker that was running and Hurley. bouncing, Hurley that was running and bouncing. He didn't kick the ball. Mm. Sydney laid off him. They wanted him to kick the ball because he's not a great user of it. But he kept his head. He ran the distance and then he found someone in Dyson who can actually deliver the ball. He is a class act though, Michael Hurley. As I said earlier, two-time All-Australian at under-18 level the last two years. And he was second in the best and fairest last year at the Knights and only played 11 games for the year. So he can play, as can Lonigan. Bombers out to 19. 19-point lead, and we've just seen in the last few minutes some great uh, running carries. We see the run up the wing here. And they're presenting with plenty of players working hard to find space and create space for Essendon at the moment. In the end, it was a beautiful pass into Lonigan, who took a very good mark under a lot of pressure from Bevan. Inside 50s, uh, well and truly in favour of the Bombers, 27 to 19, so that's a big factor. Probably still should be further up, the Bombers. Sam Lonergan, one of the two players the Bombers got for trading Ted Richards to Sydney. They received picks 19 and 51 from the Swans, the Bombers, and took Courtney Dempsey with pick 19 and Sam Lonergan, pick 51. Both those players playing today. Welsh, again towards attacking 50. Bevan, chance to jump on backs. Just elected to take the steady mark and no 50. And Lynchy, you were talking about the run from the uh, the Swans' defence. Well, the catalyst basically all year has been Reece Shaw. Ricky Dyson now has just give, been given the job just to try to do a defensive job on him. He's had the 12 possessions so far, Reece Shaw. Both bottom wide, Paddy Ryder. Inboard, Kirk, look out. Big collision. That's Dempsey Kirk got it down. Shorter. Now Welsh could go the journey. Runs to 48. That's a gem. They lead by 25. Well, there's two concerns there. The fact that the lead's gone out to 25 points and the other one is that uh, Brett Kirk in that marking contest has hurt his right shoulder. He's come down Ooh. and uh, just Ooh. landed awkwardly on it. So he might be in a few, might be a few problems with that uh, left shoulder. So not sure we might be a collarbone in that sort of situation. So he landed a heavily. few concerns on the interchange bench. So we'll probably get Smithy to check that out just shortly, but a couple of concerns for the Swans. The worst the goal, but even worse, Kirk off, Rowan Smith. Oh, boys, he's tough. Don't worry about that. The physio tried to uh, explain to him what was going on, and he just said, I've just hurt my shoulder, but I'm OK. So he's just uh, rotating as we speak, having a little bit of a rest, but he looks OK. His version of OK might be different to ours, because that had to hurt. Oh, yeah. And there is no joint there for the collarbone to sit into so it can just jolt out and back in again <laughs> dr russell <Play> on. <laughs> <laughs> jolly what was that wide <laughs> well having broken one and asked the doctor are you going to put some plaster or anything on that he said no you can't put any plaster on those just put up with the pain just harden up. <laughs> <laughs> so kirk having a sit down for the remainder of the half you'd think jude bolton Hawking steals it, runs into a jam. Oh. In O'Keefe, that's ball. Good tackle from Ryan O'Keefe. Had plenty of time to give that one off. But this time, the uh, stage of the first half, just have to convert this opportunity a bit. Test his distance from 50 metres. Plenty Ooh. of opportunity. Did he? Adam Goods needs to be careful. He's done another a little bit going on, was he? Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, there was Hawking a bit going Goods. on between Goods and... Adam Goods, don't put your hands up and say, what about that? You're the one that started this. And he's thrown a couple of Adam Goods in amongst it all. In the meantime, Ryan O'Keefe with an important kick. Two minutes from half-time. Sensational. Well, they needed it. They are in all sorts of trouble, the Swans, but at just 19 points, they've got themselves close enough at half-time. That is a, a terrific result for them. Good defensive pressure. It didn't look like... That's the repeat, because I tell, that's the second one. Adam Goods did the same thing to Hocking, but then he comes in and gives him another whack. Then another couple of players come in. And then when he gets one back, he throws the hands out and says, what about that? <laughs> well, it's not a clean skin, Adam Goods. So much so that Lee Matthews even called him a protected species a couple of years ago when he got away with some 
things off the ball that Lee Matthews thought most players break. wouldn't get away with. Well, if you're going to give a bit, don't put your hands up and say, what about a free kick when you cop it? From the ball up, Jude Bolton with the steal, slides it to O'Loughlin. Once again, it's the big names from the Sydney Swans that yep. are just keeping him in the game. So Bolton involved, O'Keefe in, involved, and Mickey O'Loughlin. O'Keefe was involved for the last goal, obviously, and Mickey O'Loughlin has just got on the end of some beautiful work up the field. Two goals in the opening term from Michael O'Loughlin's boot. That's what he has ahead of him. Oh, Gee. Just another. That's two very gettable shots in the last 15 minutes that Mickey O's missed. Gee, they had a chance to undo all Essendon's good work in yep. the first half by kicking a couple of late goals and tightening it right up. Well, kick that, that one. Miss. Essendon goes in with their heads down, oh. thinking we've just kicked our way out of this. Or well, potentially, and game could have been over. No reward. How comes Paul Roos? Are they shots that we take of him before the game and just roll them in? <laughs> well, Dwayne, he wasn't uh, oh, too Remus. relaxed. Sorry, about that. He, he wasn't too relaxed just before. He just gave LRT the biggest spray you've ever seen. As uh, we didn't, we didn't ca capture that one on camera. Okay, so we better go through and see if we can find it. Yeah, haven't had a Paul Roos tantrum go to air before. McPhee used his body well. One minute from half time. Stanton, Lodigan. And the hands are there again. Maybe too far out to score. Knows it. Yeah, I like the look of Sam Lonigan. He's got good hands. He knows what's going on around him. Reads the play well. On target to match the 19 games he played last season as well. He's been a good contributor, a regular in the lineup now. O'Keefe. So the turnover here. Swans might get the last roll of the dice. Sure. Has to be spot on. There's Primi and Fletcher. Fletcher might be content to take this out. He keeps it in. Clock continues to roll. Remus. Davey. Stanton. And that's why the kick from Reece Shaw had to be absolutely spot on because there were numbers absolutely everywhere. Not much time on the clock. And we're going to show you something at half time, Dwayne, that involved the clock early on. You called it that there was something wrong with the clock. There was a decent chunk of time missed on the yep. clock, which resulted in an Essendon score. We're going to show that at half time. Yeah, at least 12 seconds lost. Well, added to the clock, there was more it than that. Have been. I'm told. There was Ooh. more. You want yep. to put the wet blanket on it, I only <laughs> saw 12. It's big. Uh oh. Probably petrol. <laughs> uh oh. Standing across the face. And uh, that top, won't uh, count. Uh, because off, that's no, knocked on no, as opposed off, to no, no, no. just accidentally passing fingers and knocked through. Oh, right. Half time here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. This is 8th versus 10th on the AFL ladder. Essentially an eight-point game for these two teams hunting down a finals berth. Jason Dunstall and Alistair Lynch to tell you all about the controversy at halftime. Straight after this break, the Bombers lead by 18. I know we've had a chat about it before, but uh, his father Noel who played football up in Albury and Burrum Buttock, the legend up there, lost his hand in a farm accident when he was just a three-year-old, put his hand in a mincer on the farm and played footy with only the one hand and was a star up at Burrum Buttock as well. And Brett Kirk, whenever he tells the story, says that's where he got his toughness from, Rowan. So you would expect him to be back. Adam Goods to start this second half well, to do as he did in the opening half, run all the way and kick one, dragged down, went too far. Well, the only difference there, he had the clearance, he was running towards the uh, centre-half four position, but there were Swans and Essendon players there, so he had to dish off the handball, and some, uh, some Essendon players that hung in there and kept chasing, got the reward. Hocking, his father played a game for the old South Melbourne, the Swans as they were in the old days, Heath Hocking, his father Graham, just the one game back in 71, playing against his dad's old team today, and eight, eight Essendon players... They've never played here with the SCG before, so when we talk about their record of having won four of the last five games here at the SCG, the Bombers, they haven't played here for a couple of years, and this is the first time Matty Knights has ever coached here for the Essendon Football Club, the last time they were here. The bloke by the name of Kevin Cheedy was at the helm. So get another ball up on the wing. Thanks, Nick. Andrew. Head-to-head, -head, these two. Sydney have won five of the past seven. So in that regard, 
Swans do have the upper hand in their recent history. From the ball up. Kirk getting that shoulder Get tested. And he's still on the bottom of that pack, getting it tested as we speak. Ball's come out in the meantime. O'Keefe stolen by Watson. Ooh, Went for dangerous. the backward kick. Dangerous, Ooh. all right. Richards, collision with Slattery. McVeigh mopped up that mess. Got it off to love it. And a little chip kick from Pears is OK. McPhee. Had to work very hard. Both teams are trying to get a clear possession. There were massive players around. A quick exit would have gone into space, but uh, just dribbled outside the stoppage and the players spilled out with it. Very hard to get any run. Lucas wide, brighter. Thanks, Adam. We've got Darren Jolly loitering in the ruck for Sydney, but it's Adam Goods that's actually Never then mind. going with Paddy well. Ryder on ball. Yeah. Throws it up high. Roberts Thompson with the fist. Hurley all the way down inside 50 for a rare occasion. Michael Hurley forced to backtrack now quickly to get back to full back. Good ball from Roberts Thompson. Just directed the ball over the uh, boundary line as we see the lights are on at the SCG. Starting to get a little dark as Jolly knocks it down to Kirk to Ablett. Twists his way through traffic. Matty Lloyd went for the smother. Couldn't quite get it there and Grundy away on half back. Did well there. Fooled everyone. Gave to Bevan and now O'Loughlin. Leeds come on attacking 50. Jude Bolton short. It's ignored. And now Roberts Thompson. And that was smart use of the ball as well. Just held it up until Lewis Roberts Thompson could drop off his direct uh, opponent in Fletcher into some space. Mine. To the pocket. O'Keefe's down there with Richard Diamond can get there in time to take a mark or get a ball in. High emotion here at halftime with Barry Hall doing his lap and she was fantastic. The ovation the fans gave him shows how much spirit is in the old bloods. And will we see it in the second half here? Goods throws it up. Jolly. And that could be a free. Now Chesky was driven into the dirt there. Didn't have it. Play on. Pears twists his way through. Love it with the slap down. And Winderlich might find the boundary line. Ball in. Go, Let's have a look at Paddy Ryder and Darren Jolly. Who's holding who? I don't know that Jolly's doing too much. Although he might have had that left arm of uh, Ryder's. But how's the umpire's call? You were holding him, Darren. Well, isn't that a free kick? Yeah, good point. <laughs> There's degrees of hold, obviously. Just a little tiny hold is OK. Goods, who can't get a hold on this. Bombers by 18 points. No fluency whatsoever in the Swans game in that first half and haven't really come out of the, the blocks uh, on fire at the start of this third term. They've just got to find some run, some clean position, oh, possessions. Jolly used the hands. Watson, love it. Dyson, good grab. Beautiful pass to the, the right side of Dyson on that occasion. Great hands. Pops it up long. One out. Lloyd uses the body. Craig Bond got the fist, Lloyd's onto it. Handball up, oh, sure. Sure hands, all right. Kirk, yeah, that saved the goal. And now he can release Crouch. A wobbler. Oh, grab that. O'Keefe beaten for it. Fee off the deck. Malcheski, long handball. Lewis Thomas Thompson, then he's a handball target. Fletcher, brilliant tackle, Dustin Fletcher. No prior opportunity, and we'll get a ball up. Well, Matty Lloyd picked up the loose ball. He was looking to get over the top to Winlick, but the one-handed grab from Reece Shaw saved a goal. Should have got one a little high, LRT, on that occasion. Oh, locked on just slip as he yeah. kicked there. Slippery turf, costing him again. Kirk tries to thread it out. Ablett dragged down. Gang tackle, ball up. Slifted a gear. Mind you, it started in a pretty... Fast fashion this game anyway. Just the plant, the oh. plant foot, the left foot went just as he went to snap the goal, Michael O'Loughlin. That was in. Jolly, quick down, O'Keefe about to pounce. Gets the hands free. Jack! And he's missed. There is Jack. Can snare a goal, of course. Kicked that winning goal against the West Coast Eagles in round eight. It was front page news here in Sydney. 
rugby man turns to AFL oh, star. Oh, that lucky. could be 50. Very lucky, LRT. Yeah. Swans have just gone man on man for the Essendon kickouts. Yep. Just to make sure this exact situation happens, which means they, they, they need the to be first possession. Yeah, they need to be smart enough to revert to the bunch when you kick out then, yep. because if you bunch and you go man on man, you can always find a player loose. Yep. The punch from Nick Smith there across the boundary. And Essendon at the moment, boys. Lucas and Lloyd are playing more higher up the ground with Kyle Remus, uh, as opposed to Paul Bevins playing Ooh. at full forward at the moment. Ryder with the palm down. Kirk almost with the crumb. Shovels it out. Goods. Arms free. Back to Kirk. It was quick up. Bird. We beat one. Can't beat Lucas. Got a handball out. Kirk. Ball in. It's a hard, tight oh, contest at the he's moment. Down Kirk again. He's down again. again. He's feeling the pain, I think. He's feeling it, but he just keeps somehow willing himself to the next contest. He's got the bad shoulder, and landing like that's not going to help it. And talked about his toughness of his father. Of course, his grandfather, Wally Morass, did fight at Kokoda. So, toughness all the way back for Brett Kirk. Pears, Slattery, they're away again. Standen Great took chase. on Shaw. Just bumped and not tackled. Matt, now he got his arms free, threw that out. Craig Bolton, Kirk. Bounced up, got a touch. Back to Craig Bolton. Heads it along. O'Loughlin, use of the body. Did well. Pushing the side. Pierce. And he has been, well, he's already nominated for an Ab Rising Star Award this year, Tate Pierce. Having an outstanding season, another outstanding game. Windling. Prismal. Ducked out of that. Time. Dempsey. Corralled. All the way back. And they can start again. Hocking. Love it. Stanton. Davy Short. Good hands. Doesn't look overly confident about the journey either. He's looking for options. Looking for a hand pass. Looking for a short pass. Doesn't think he can get there. His form's oh, a little David. scratchy. Just the four kicks last week and way below his average against Collingwood. Owen Davey already had five kicks today, so a better game already. And he kicks from the paint of the 50. It's got the distance, uh, not the accuracy. They lead by three goals, 18 points. Well, you just get the feeling that if the Bombers could kick the first couple, they can probably put Sydney away. But if Sydney just eke out a goal or two, they'll turn it into a second-half grind and fancy their chances of just uh, edging over the top of the bonds. Sure, get... dangerous to Smith. Cut off by Lonigan. Could go for goal. Goes to Lucas, who needs his left, of course. A handball from Lucas. Where'd that come from? Remus from 50. And no wonder he doesn't handball. They miss him when he handballs it to them. Their 50 metres shots on goal the last couple, but just once again... Just allowing the Sydney Swans to stay in the game, but this is the major concern. Getting out of this situation, the kick-ins haven't been working well. To Richards. Pears again got a hand on it. Down to Love it. Windley. That's on 50. Oh, that's very close to 50. Again, another player right on his threshold as far as kicking range goes. But Sydney kick-ins are generating Essendon shots on goal, which is a major concern for Paul Roos and the defensive half. They need to start capitalising on some so of these opportunities, Essendon. Mm, that's touch and go. That's out of the market. Put him to contest. ground, isn't it? Already kick one today. This for the biggest lead of the game. Push it out to 25. He doesn't. Well, they're he all punches it out to 20. And each player that's had that shot from just outside 50 has been uncomfortable. They've yes. run off the line. They've tried right to hook up. the ball around. They just need to find that penetrating kick another 5 or 10 metres further inside the attacking 50. Barlow, good goal, kick yeah. that. 60-metre kick towards Goods. Taps it out. Smith. Now he's got Jude Bolton if he wants him. Jude Bolton feeding back. Goes to Abron instead. Back again. Bird short. O'Loughlin pocket. Yeah, now if he goes back and kicks this... It's an experienced it's a massive player turnaround. that has been stepping up all day for the Swans. They've been leading the way of the experienced players. When they've needed to, they've kicked goals. And this would be a massive boost to the confidence of the Swans and deflating for the Bombers. Well, the reason he was able to hit Ryan O'Keefe is he got a terrific body block by Craig Bird, who just stepped in front of 
Adam McPhee and allowed O'Keefe to get five metres free on the lead. Now the last three shots on goal, as you said, Jase, before for Essendon have been out around the 50 metre arc. They've really had to tee it off. This will certainly test uh, Ryan O'Keefe as well, but converts this opportunity. The crowd get involved in the game. And they're up and going. Who's one of the most informed players in the country, Ryan O'Keefe. Can't get the distance. Oh, out of midair. Malczewski went over the crossbar. <laughs> Best Primmy with the cleanup. A terrible defending in the end by the Bombers. They should have had numbers there in the goal square. How can a ball come to ground level and get picked up in the middle of the 10-yard goal square and kicked through by Vez Premi without a Bomber in sight? The long kick comes up. You can see the numbers here. Now, as that high ball goes up, all the other Bombers are standing. There's three, four of them at the back standing there watching, including Dempsey. That made five just standing and watching, not doing anything. They'd be doing their head in in the Essendon oh, coaches right. box. That is a, been a terrible few minutes for the Essendon footy club. They've had three shots right. on goal and dominated play with disposal inside 50s and everything. And you could just see it happening. The Sydney Swans go forward and through some poor work on the goal line have kicked a goal. Five Essendon defenders just stood there watching. Watson, Welsh, and slip again from Grundy. Standing back with a flight. Good attack, Winderlich up to Dyson. Well, he rolled one through earlier in the game. He bounces this one through at the same end. Lynchy, I like the bodywork of Matthew Lloyd in this particular instance. The kick was intended for Brett Stanton. The kick from Welsh. Stanton was leading into space. He didn't realise that the Sydney play had gone to ground, but Lloyd just held off Bolton and allowed the ball to continue unabated. And in the end, it was picked up, hand passed to uh, Dyson from Winderlich again, who's done some great work down there. Another good snap. Just the answer that the Bombers needed. Very good answer as the Swans just got themselves back in the game, but uh, the lead's Andrew back Luke. out to 20 points. Mike Pike in the ruck. Against Ryder, flicks it down, Jude Bolton. And it was out of the copybook to Ablett. Inside 50, Vesprimi, bouncing ball. Tough one to collect, Dempsey. Vesprimi, little toe poke. Can he finish? He set us instead. Ted Richards there, can't get there. Love it does. Jack beats him to it. Hands it out, Jude Bolton. Richards, Ablett. Richards lays a shepherd, gives Ablett some space. Gorgs! Big fly, couldn't bring it down though. Prismal under pressure. McVeigh heads wide. Stanton on the line. Loose player on the wing. Welsh. Being run down. Lloyd. Ran under that a little. Pike. Getting back the late inclusion. Jared McVeigh out of this one late after not being able to complete. The warm up, so Mike Park in the Canadian to do the ruck work. And it was a very late withdrawal from Jared McVeigh. He was out on the ground we in pre game, he was out there doing the, the run through. So, obviously, uh, trouble held is he was, then. Like, he was moving like me, Lynchy. That's the problem. That was he was never going to play once that happened. <laughs> Dyson shuffles it out. Watson, Hocking, Welsh. Right. They had options there, the ball couldn't hit them, and Ted Richards beat three there. Nice collect, Matna, bounce pass, beats first Primi, love it, we'll get there first, Bombers can reload. No, they won't, Slattery missed with the handball, goes back in, gets it, outruns, gives up to Hocking, pops that up, hoping Lucas can run onto it, well played Matna, body on the line there, took the oncoming traffic, Lonigan, Pierce, doesn't get a chance at goal very often, Hits the square, fist comes, boundary line looming, and the players would be pretty keen for a breather. Still there's a bit of fumbling going on around the ground, a bit of intensity in the game, and just the slippery conditions. Both sides, uh, both players from both sides are really struggling with their footing still. Pike's free, 
tossed out of the ruck contest. He's been doing some good work in the, the ruck oh, situation. Oh, that's not good work. <laughs> Didn't say about kicking. And nearly got away with it. That's a throw. Gee, had a long time there, Adam Goods. Protective species, Dwight. A kick from Pike <laughs> whilst laying on his back. That's what Lee Matthews said. Well, so they say the good players look like they've got all the time in the world. Oh, now snagged. the bomber's got Bing. Yep. That's extraordinary. And Adam Goods has got the free kick, which is even more extraordinary. I, I, I swear he threw the ball in the middle of all that. He did, he caught it again. <laughs> <laughs> he had an eternity to get rid of the footy. They're clinging by a thread at the moment, the Swans. Crouch. In fact, the whole season clinging by that thread. Yet if they can kick a couple of goals, that'll lift their confidence and they think they will then think they can get over the line. It's Roberts Thompson to Bolt. It's that tight. Now, you know the Sydney Swans at the SCG are never out of the game until time on deep into the last quarter. McPhee coming off that very good game last week where he got the most possessions for the Bombers in that Collingwood game. 29 last week for Adam McPhee. No Bomber last week getting 30 plus. Essendon defenders find space far too easy throughout this game. They're able to hit up targets in the back half too easy on a regular basis. Watson, lazy kick. Yep. And Richards gets back in the hole. Good commitment there, but he took his own player out. Well, it was great courage from Richards, but he's taken out uh, his teammate in uh, Nick Smith. Joe Watson's been so good, 19 possessions. He's kicking at 75% effectiveness, but that he just wheeled onto the left foot and he, he could have got onto his natural foot. Why wouldn't you do it? Jolly back into the ruck. O'Keefe, handball a little too hot. Walsh went for the kick over the head. Dyson in heavy traffic. Watson, handball over the top. And it's like a game of twister. We'll get a ball up there. Inside 50. Five players get to their feet. Look at that pack around this ball up. Swan's not allowing any space for the Essendon forwards. Just truly trying to choke it up at the moment. Hawking had it but lost it. Barlow's got it but can't get it out. Well, there's basically everyone bar six pairs of players. So that's 24 players out on the ground around this contest. It's almost everyone bar pairs. Jolly down. O'Keefe, Barlow. Now Lloyd should collect this. Is that it deliberate? Kindly. It's a good result for the Swans. Is that rule still in, the deliberate thing? I don't think so, because okay. there was nobody out there for no. Sydney. He just kicked it out of defence. There's no Straight crowd to the roar boundary. for it, though. You need no. that crowd. Right up. Give each other a run. From the ball in. Hooker from behind. Jolly front spot. Jude Bolton. Come on. And Jude Bolton. He and Kirk, the number one and two tacklers in the AFL, averaging Don't seven and eight block. tackles a game, the two of them. So try and break free from the congestion when they've got you, it's impossible. Kirk gets tackled this time. Could be in trouble. Gee, did he have prior opportunity? Well, I think he did, and then when he realised he didn't have any options, he just turned into traffic, and right. he's, he's looking at the umpire saying, you're kidding. Welsh long. Lloyd, Lucas, that'll do. Lucas and Lloyd, that'll do. They lead by 26. Be very disappointed. Paul Roos is extremely disappointed about that situation. It was a free kick has gone against uh, Brett Kirk, absolutely red hot. Didn't have a lot of a lot, opp opportunity. Right. But when the ball comes in long to some experienced defenders in Grundy and Craig Bolton, you shouldn't have a situation where there's an easy mark or an uncontested mark, which should have been very contested. And then Scotty Lucas has dished off the handball from the goal square. Biggest lead of the game, 26 points. Now, was this prior opportunity for Brett Kirk? Look, I think he's harshly done by it. He didn't have a lot on there, but... Dwayne, we heard you uh, with a little bit of surprise in your voice when you called a Scott Lucas hand pass before. What about one in the goal square? Yeah. That's enormous from Scotty Lucas. That's from a guy who's been dropped, of course, this year and told to reassess the way he was playing. He's reassessed it, all right. He's handballing. Good. Gets on the end, outside of the foot. And misses. No left the foot. Back. No left Gee. foot. Went the banana. Ed Barlow was just running to the top of the goal square by himself as well. He's not going to say anything to the Brownlow medalist, but just a little look across. So the kids at home watching that, don't do that. Grow a left foot. Yeah, absolutely. Hooker. Lucas. Can't get on the end of it. And Bevan does. There's Primmy. Got Barlow in short. Needs to hit him. 
Did you love a good contest? Overran it, but made the spoil, oh, laid the great great tackle. tackle. Yeah, and love it to take the free. Two terrific efforts from Andrew Lovett. One, to get there and spoil the mark, and then to affect the tackle against a much bigger opponent. We're into time on. Third term, 21 minutes gone. Oh, Four bounce done bounce. kindly for Stanton. Oh, Attacking well, well Bevan, but he's head down. Roberts Thompson, a little slow. Barlow, kickable from there. No one in the square. Goal up high, doesn't move. Bounces through. They're back. We'll start with an unlucky bounce uh, for Stanton. As Paul Rose is just at the top, his voice yelling some instructions out. But some uh, very good work from Paul Bevan. He's gone in low and hard, got the ball out, just scrapped it forward to uh, Ed Barlow, who's just kicked one from 55 metres and bounced it through. He's made the most of the opportunities there, but some good attack of the ball, led by Brett Kirk, who got the unlucky free kick a few minutes ago, but that one was Paul Bevan. Well, Swans general manager, football manager now, Andrew Ireland, as we see the Essendon box, said a couple of years ago at a club function that Ed Barlow could be the next Adam Goods if he gets his act together. And he's just starting to get his act together now. Ed Barlow keeps them in this game. Oh, Paddy Wright has kicked terrible. <laughs> Stanton, high. Roberts Thompson, Lucas. Play on. And now Winderlick, a chance to snap. Instant reply, the bombers. They're back out by 25. Terrific snap. A new opponent for Scotty Lucas. Heath Grundy, who played on him in the first half in the first part of this third term, has gone forward. And Lewis Roberts-Thompson, who started forward for Sydney, has gone back onto Scott Lucas. It was a big high one-on-one. -on -one. Neither looked likely to mark the ball, but he's read the play beautifully every time, Jason Windlick. He knows where the fall of the ball is going to be. Always puts himself in the right position, hits it at pace and finishes beautifully. Twenty-five point margin in the shadows of three-quarter time. Winderlich has to. Swans in a spot of bother. Their tenth on the ladder. They lose this. The Bombers essentially pencil themselves into that spot in the eight. Barlow with a tackle. Well, 360. I don't, I don't know that he had prior opportunity either. It was the 360 rule that comes in every now and then. You've got an arm free. Short. Barlow gets it from O'Keefe. They've managed to answer each time the Bombers have kicked the goal. Sydney, can they do it again? Short away, Lawson. Now he passed last time he was in that spot. Yeah, I wouldn't think he'd get the journey from this pocket. So he'll be looking for some space to pass into here. This Premier League's into the space. They need more movement from the Swans forwards to get out and clear space for someone else. Dustin to Fletcher through. has crept two metres over the mark, right up to the 50. Centering kick. Reimers! Big leap, couldn't mark it. Got the crumb. Love it. Dangerous, but good. McPhee took the step. Lucas backtracks. Not a lot to go to. Fletcher Close. will do. Oh, just on the line. Oh, Fletcher oh. to Criswell. Now they're on. Oh, they can go. Hooker. Looks up. He's got a couple of options. The long is the one he wants. Stanton. And Stanton can push this margin out to 31. Well, we say it time and again, Lynchy. The toughest thing for a defender is when the forward's leading back towards goal and you've got the long kick coming in. You're looking for your defender. Hard to track the footy. And it's always the forward that reacts first when the ball drops short. Yeah, and that was on that occasion. It was Reece Shaw coming back with a fly of the ball and lost body contact. And, yeah, spot on in a lot of strife. No mistake there. Biggest lead of the game with two and a half to three-quarter time. Let's have a look at that kick. That square up from Scotty Lucas to... Justin oh, Fletcher. Not a lot in it. Look, the boundary umpire is in perfect position to call that. And here's the long kick from Hooker. And he, again, another player slipped over in uh, Reshaw. You would be sure that he'd have the, the screw ins blown yep. in the back line, but uh, very slippery on the top of the surface. Yeah, 
Sydney Swans, this game and their season at breaking point now. 31 points. Jolly waits for it. Little toe poke, love it. O'Keefe, arm held. Welsh with the clearing kick. Roberts Thompson, front spot, good hands. Yeah, good hands, good use of the body. Play on as his teammate knocked it from his <laughs> arms. Sure. Some speed, short. Malcheski fumble. O'Keefe trouble. Got it out. Malcheski, Jack. Heads toward attacking 50. No mark, Vest Primmy. Jude Bolton, Malcheski. No prior opportunity there, surely. And Good's playing for free. Stanton. Oh, and he's been dumped, Remus. Off the and Remus will that's get the free. free kick. Just here. Give it to Watson, that's fine. A little and bit Watson of niggle up. and antagonism going on out there. Watson. McVeigh. That's a nice bounce to start with. Doesn't get the confidence up. <laughs> Stanton. Might put the next one down. Plays <laughs> yeah. him down. I think I'll kick it now. Pierce. Good chance here to go on. Already kicked one this season. Doesn't go for goal, goes for Lloyd. Spectacular. They've had a couple of instances we had uh, Hooker a little earlier come running forward, steaming forward. He just kicked it long to the dangerous spot and found Stanton. And that time, Pears would have been tempted as a defender to have a pot shot. Nothing better than a backman running down and kicking a goal. But he thought, work within my limitations. I nearly slipped over, but I got inside Ted Richards. And I can see the skipper in space. Why not give it to a bloke whose job it is to kick goals? Just gave him his right foot a little bit too easy, Ted Richards. Yeah. Need to keep him on the boundary side. Took some big bags against Sydney, Matty Lloyd, but oh. never here at the SCG. That's a bad miss. They can put nails in the coffin right now, the Bombers, and they're not doing it. He's got a 13 to his name against the Swans, Matty Lloyd. You expect him to kick that one. Yeah. But never here, never kicked the five plus. Strangely enough, O'Keefe. Bevan. Far from convincing again, the kick out. Sure. And try and run it. Craig Bolt. Grundy. Use of the body. Oh, McPhee. Well read. Important mark that with 37 on the clock. Backtracks inside 50. Andrew Welsh. He's Tough for Winderlick. Impossible for Winderlick. O'Keefe. Kirk back on. Mike Pike. They need a mark inside 50. Kirk heads it wide. Crouch. Got a fist to the ear. On the back of the... And oh, 50. No way. Well, He'll have seen, a shot. We've seen worse than that let go today. Oh, are you kidding me? Might be just the break the Swans need to keep in touch going into the last turn. It's a handy 50 as well. It's a 55-50. Is that the first 50 of the day, Dwayne? Oh, I reckon it is. They've let everything else go, and there's been plenty where it could have gone the other way, but... And that was... That was in the contest still. Looked it. There's unless, a unless, later. unless he deemed that Lovett's eyes were just on the back of the head and he said, cop this. <laughs> well, he's only kicked one this year, Jerry Crouch. One of the ageing warriors for the Swans. He knows how important this is. You make beautiful setups, don't you, Dwayne? Just slaughtered a couple today. Well, that would have set up a nice final turn for us. Let's have a look at that. Oof. Yeah. Just on the back of the back of the head. Play on, play on. Three quarter time at the SCG. And the Sydney Swans finals hopes on the line. So to the Bombers. And at the last change, they lead by 31 Essendon. 12-12-84. Sydney Swans. 7-11-53. We try to orchestrate a victory here at the SCG in this final term. Well, they've got to kick the first one, Sydney, to keep the season alive. They've got to go bang, bang, very early. 31 points the margin, and a poor opening. We'll get another one. Clear the square, clear the square. Jump out. Jump out. Bombers have missed the finals the last four seasons. Three of those, of course, under Kevin Chetty. But they're hunting down their first one for a while. A win here would be worth eight points, you'd think. The Swans are a chance to take their spot if they win it today. Winderlich. 
Oh, nearly a little stumble. Teammate, teammate, I think. Teammate, little ankle tap. Hawking. They could almost nail this one yeah. shot in the first five oh, minutes here. Him. That's Paul. Jude Boldney threw that out. Another player that slipped over. Well, that's what we've so seen So many of them have slipped over. Surely they'll change their boots. Well, shortly. look, you can, you can slip over in screw-ins. Let's, uh, let's not suggest right. that everyone that slips over isn't wearing screw-ins. But if they're not, they should have, uh, you know, they should cop a, a tongue lashing from the coach, if not a, uh, an absolute public hanging, because it is inexcusable to, sl to be slipping over on a service like this without screw-ins on. Jack to Goods. That was a metaphoric public hanging. And yes, and the, the a flogging they should get. That's right. Drawn and quartered. I've cut a nine tails. But we've seen the slippings cause many turnovers by foot. Just uh, can't, you just can't get perches on the ground when you're trying to kick as well. So we've seen plenty of turnovers there as well. Hocking, caught by Goods, dragged back. No prior. It's been an interesting battle. Uh, Heath Hocking on Adam Goods. Goods has had 18 possessions and kicked a goal. Hawking's had 12 himself, and he's been uh, pretty solid on him. It's game 17, Heath Hawking, but his fourth season at the club, so he's been around the place for a while, and he gets well, sort of a contact. possession on cue. Kirk caught high his ball. And been whacked from pillar to post. Brett Kirk again today. Off to Shaw. Chance for Ted Richards to go up. Doesn't. My spoils his own man. Richards and O'Keefe both went for that. What about that for improvisation yeah. from uh, Dustin Fletcher just to get that little kick over? Ted Richards had done all the hard work to protect where the ball was coming down and just uh, didn't have enough of it. Stay out at the back. Davey. Stay there. A little bit of sunshine on the SCG for the first time in a while. The lights have been on. It's been a cold... Dreary afternoon, skywise here in Sydney. Just controlling the footy at the moment, aren't they? The Bombers. Love it. Hurley. And now Lucas. Roberts Thompson with him. Dyson with the half volley. That was out. Ooh. Close. Bounced on the outside of the line. Mind you, I'm a lot further away than the boundary umpire. Yeah, bounced yes. on the line. That's why. And then went out. Good they decision. Don't give me a whistle. <laughs> but it did bounce out after that. Yeah. Welsh. Lloyd. Can't gather. But each second that passes, here's a second closer to victory for the Bombers. Gave a little low five to a kid leaning over the fence there. Good Lloyd. Lloyd. He's in good spirits. Was it Lisa down there on the <laughs> fence, was it? He's got three to his name. The Bombers are in front. Good. Shoots it out in the Remus direction. Too high. No contact, so that's handy for the Swans, but they've got to spread the ball very quickly. Bevan. Essendon have been so good at staying with their man. Yeah. And as we saw just over the last couple of minutes, the Swans have given some space to their opponents, but Essendon are there every time a Swans player goes near the ball. There's Primi beaten for that. Good spoil. Hocking wrapped up. Well done. Vest Primi gets it back through Kirk's good work. Hands it off to Jack. It. He does give it, and a good give as well. Over the top to O'Loughlin on the line. Got it there. It's not done yet. Well, there's plenty of Swans players running through the middle of the ground there, running in support, which we haven't seen enough of uh, during the game today. Yes, they've been very good with their defensive uh, structures and pressures, and best premier was involved, Kieran Jack. It looked like he was going to have a ping so for I a goal there. So too. And Marty Matney just probably didn't need to give that much weight <laughs> on the handball. It was getting a little bit close, but in the end, they got the result they were after and got a goal just to keep them in the game. Twenty-five points the margin. O'Loughlin with three. Swans with a sniff. Silence from the crowd. Big ball up. Ryder flies. Hand on it. Jack. We rode that bump beautifully. Throws up a torpedo. O'Loughlin uses the body. Off hands. Love it. Fletcher. Poise. Stanton, Slattery, over the head of Remus Bevan. It was risky on the non-preferred to go inboard. O'Keefe, another tough one to mark, Fletcher. 
Lucas out wide. Roberts Thompson with him. Fist was straight down to Prismal. Love it. Spear to Lucas. Ton of time left. Just a last forward 50 entry for the Swans. Over the years, we've seen Dustin Fletcher has been so good, not only in one-on-one -on -one con con contests, but to drop off into space and just block up the flow as the loose man defence, as he did then on that occasion. Very good. Bombers would be a little worried about their form. They've won only three of their past seven. They're vulnerable. Swans would know that. Put some doubt in their mind with another one quickly. Davey gets it off to Love it. Heads it wide. Diving wind and it did a bounce. Beautiful pass and great stretch. It's been a role I haven't seen Jason Windlick play a lot of. Lynch, he's played deep forward at different stages. He's come up on the lead. He's also roved the ball well. We see him up around the wing. We've seen him plenty of time on ball, but playing as a deep forward, he's been very effective today. Been terrific. Nice, that good speed off the mark. 18 possessions, two goals to Jason Windlick, lining up for number three. What a big number three it would be. Push the margin back out to 31. Sensational. That'll erase some doubt. You'd suggest that'd probably be enough at the moment, just the way the Swans are going with their ability to kick uh, six goals to win this game, having only kicked eight to this stage of the game. And uh, once again, it was some speed by foot and some good use of the ball and some useful leads. Their forwards, they've mixed their forwards right around today. Lloyd and Lucas have pushed up the ground at different times, but there's been a number of players go through the forward 50 and all be very effective. Biggest lead they've had was 32 points. It was late in the there third term. Stands at 31 now. Hooker against Jolly. Bird quick in. Out to Jolly. Hacks it towards Grundy. McPhee beats him. Here's the body. Read it well. McVeigh short. Prismal. Tucked away from him. O'Loughlin. There's that slip again. Yep. Hurley. Stanton. Hooker. Stanton. They're taking this game on as they've done all year. Smith. Barlow. That's not 15. That's two. Not three. <laughs> Lachlan, it worked. <laughs> to Pike. The big man long. Richards. Good use of the body. Can he finish, though? Can he finish? A loose player. And I think the hands were in the side on that occasion. That was uh, good use of the body, Teddy Richards. He knows what it's like uh, at the other end to have the big forwards protect the drop zone and take good marks. And on this occasion, he was the one in that role. Shove in the side. Yep, no problems there. But, and good mark. But according to the way the umpires call it, that's two actions. Yep. Yeah, as you said, they're all two actions. Yeah. Can be a little dodgy in front of goal. He's kicked 1-3 this year. And he's failed to score. Kicked it like a backman. Well, I suppose, Dwayne, if it's any consolation, you got that one right. Yeah. That was very good. <laughs> Ted Richards really proves you wrong. Unfortunately for Ted, he likes to snap them as opposed to the set shots. Dempsey back to Remus. Sigh of relief for the Bombers. Oh, Windelick missed. Bad turnover from Remus. Jude Bolton. They've got the numbers of the Bombers. Windelick trying to mop up the mess. It's still messy. Still in there on attacking 50. Jack threw that out. Umpire saw it. Bombers ball. Kyle Remus should consider himself very lucky. Poor kick coming out of defence. And then he just tried to indiscriminately kick the ball off the ground instead of putting the body over it. Good tackle by Dave. He just pinned the right arm. Lloyd dives. Lucas can't get there to crumb it. And we'll get a ball in. Rowan Smith. Well, boys, you've been talking about it all day, about the SCG surface and how slippery it is. You can see that every time the players change the direction, there's a massive dig, uh, like divot out, yep. away from the SCG turf. But uh, So I actually don't think that the, whether the boys are wearing moulded screw-ins or, or screw-ins uh, would make too much of a difference. They're just uh, taking too much turf up at the moment. Pike back to shore. Adam Goods, little push on. Lonigan worked. 
Can he release Roberts Thompson? He flies. Is that 50? Gee. He covered it up well, Scotty Lucas. Shaw is away. Still time for the Swans. Ablett looks up. He's got a few options. Num numbers deep. Barlow pumps it long. Jude Bolton with the fly in the fist. Standing with the crumb. Thumps it out. Big play this. Fez Primmy hands it up. Smith from 50. No one in the square. Fletcher there. Grundy flies. Fletcher. His fist. Delete. Everyone Hasn't stopped. Gone. The ball kept going. McPhee tucked up into the pocket. The release kick. Perfect. Hocking. Remus. Heads wide. Lonigan can't get there. Lloyd. Tackle. Hands to Lonigan. They're away here. Prismal needs to mark. Three to beat. Good fist. Bevan. After O'Keefe made the spoil. High kick. Oh, McPhee! Out to Lloyd. They're not far from the knockout blow here, the Bombers. They just need to land one last punch. That won't do it. Swans ball. Yeah, just a long kick up towards Luke Abbott on this occasion. As we see here, great mark from McPhee. It was a four-on-one situation. Always going to be tough for Ablett. Probably lucky he slipped Luke Abbott. He might have been in mark of the week otherwise. He was taking the big run-up, Adam McPhee. George left that for Madner. Kicks to the square. Vest Primmies down there. Got it! Marty Matna, we know he's got that penetrating left foot and it was long enough to get over the top of the Essendon defenders and uh, carried far enough to get to Paddy Vesper. He did some nice work with his body into a good grab in the hands. It's a battle down there at the moment between two ex-teammates, both former Northern Knights teammates, Michael Hurley and Pat Vesprimi. They know each other extremely well. They would have done that many a time at training as kids. And Vez Primi kicks the goal on him. Game on again. Well, Far from convincing off the boot, but it it's gone great. straight through the middle. They just don't know how to give up, Sydney, do no. they? They will fight tooth and nail. They might lack a little bit of class at times or a little bit of attacking flair, particularly now, no Barry Hall. But they just keep coming. They just keep finding a way to push the ball forward. This time it's Fez Premi that takes a good contested mark and kicks a goal. And uh, narrow the margin to 25 points. Still plenty of time on the clock. It's a fair team, that Northern Knights team a couple of years ago. Matty Cruiser and Trent Cotchin also part of it. I hope they won. Some good players. <laughs> they got rolled, the big questions are. They're, they're a fair side. Uh, inside 50s, 7-3 in favour of the Sydney Swans for this quarter. They weren't stars back then. They were just under 18 kids. Tipping they were probably pretty good ones. Yeah, it's true. Swans free out of the middle. Jude Bolton's ball. 25 points to margin. Halfway through this final turn. A wobbler. There's Primmy can't get there for the spoil. Pears. Boundary line his friend and he knows it. Keeps it alive. No, he doesn't. I don't think he was too disturbed either way on that occasion. He was charging up towards the wing, but... Uh, to go out of bounds when he had plenty of Swans players around him was also a bonus. 31,000 here on the edge of their seat at the moment. Hocking. Love it. Some space. Tough kick over the head of Winderlich. Good hands, Lloyd. From Lloyd, quick to Winderlich. Now long kick, goal square. Lucas gets back. He gets it. And, and he won't be on any angle. Marked it inside the goal square and should kick the goal. To get Essendon home. We're going to keep patting Jason Windley on the back. His decision making has been first class today. Whether it's been uh, where to go to read the ball. That'll make it tough. 31 points. Well, let's uh, have a look at Tate Pears. Very close. Tough one for the uh, boundary umpire who's behind the field umpire there that actually called it. But Jason Winderlich would have been tempted once he found clear space to run and carry the footy and probably have a shot himself, but he saw Lucas long, so instead of bouncing and running, he had 40 metres of space in front of him. He said, kick it to the bloke in the goal square, long. So Lucas, his second goal. He's been on the list now for seven years, Jason Winderlich. He was pick 11 back in 2002 so 
a lot was expected of him early, but he's really started to show why they took him that early now. Ablett, handball smothered. Welsh toward Lucas, bouncing ball, knocks it down. Bevan, Roberts Thompson, Craig Bolton, Shaw, Barlow. Oh, fumble. Pears wraps him up, got a kick. Kept it alive, but to Watson. Dempsey. Oh, Lucas waiting for it. Roberts Thompson. Lucas with the spoil. Knocks it down. Lonigan. Stanton for the knockout blow. Lloyds on the line. He marks it just inside the field of play. You expect Lloydy to take his time, go back and kick the banana here. Yeah, you'd think so. You look at all the options, Lynchy, and think, who can I... Oh, there you go. Time play on. on. Hits the post. Usually give the illusion that you're going to pass, <laughs> pass it off. <laughs> have like no any good board. Yeah, that's right. And if someone is clear, you look at them long enough until slip. they get picked up. Then slip. <laughs> There's a good the mark. mark. Good contested mark, isn't it? It's been a tough battle against Craig Bolton. He's got three to his name, Manny Lloyd. Would have liked a fourth. He's done some very good work up the field as yeah, well. We saw the lead up to that last goal of Scotty Lucas and great hands. 17 minutes gone, final term. O'Keefe flies. Gee, he had a good piece of it. He wants it. Well, thought he held it long enough, but umpire said no, ball in. One against two. He did get a good firm grab on it to start with. Nearly have paid that. Certainly held it long enough in slow motion. Watson, Ryder, pokes it inside, 50, Roberts Thompson. Shaw, Jolly. Time against them now. 18 minutes gone, final term. Smith. Grundy. McVeigh with him and yeah, knocked him. Yeah, just pushed him under the ball, took the arms, whatever the umpire is explaining there, but just wasn't in the contest. <laughs> wasn't going to get his hands on to the ball. Just having a chat to him, Martin Bay saying, really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Too far out to score. Needs a pass option. Bomber's getting numbers back. To the pocket, Adam Goods. Can't get the fly. It was an important touch, though. It was. So ball out. 19th minute of this final term, and here's McPhee. Would have marked it on the chest, Adam Goods. Yep. Great work, Adam McPhee. Goods beaten for it. And Ryder follows it up. Stanton. Roberts Thompson with Lucas. Oh, great spectacular grab. grab. The wily old veteran up on the wings, taking a very See, good mark. It's hard to believe they dropped him. He's in good form. Open turf. So I love it. To put his mark on it. This is... 33 points. 14 points for, yeah, for the day for the Essendon side. And a lot of those have been very kick kickable. Sure. Craig Bolton. Crouch. Sure. Pears. Front spot. Got hands to it. Richards dropped it. Caught. Pears dives back in. Man handled by Jolly. But that'll do the Bombers. A few more seconds tick by. And we're inside seven minutes to full time. And the Bombers with a 7-7 seven and seven record coming in. Just pencil their spot in again. To the top eight at the end of this round, regardless of what happens below them. Whether the Hawks win or whether Port Adelaide have a victory. The Bombers have at least got theirs. Uh, lead by 33 as we get a ball in. This will take them up the ladder into uh, twin on the Carlton result. And obviously Brisbane will play Geelong tonight. But they will go up and have a look at sixth spot for at least a short period of time. Bevan had it but lost it. Watson to throw. win the leg. was a throw. <laughs> Jude Bolton to Kirk. Adam Goods. Fletcher with him. Battle of two stars there. Fletcher disappointed with himself. And that's what you like to see. You've got a game that, for all intent and purposes, looks like it's been won already. And he's still mad on himself for allowing Adam Goods to take a mark. Holock, a little slip again. 
It might work for him. Hurley, he slipped. O'Loughlin slipped under him. Gives to Jack. Kicks around the body. It's about to bounce. He gets an unkind one. I saw Ted Richards was trying to do the right thing. He felt with the way the ball was swinging in, it would just roll through. But uh, unlucky. You mentioned Carlton, of course. Alistair, the Sydney Swans, next four games. Carlton at Eddie Had, Melbourne, at Monica, St Kilda here at the SCG, and then Richmond. It's going to be tough now for the Swans as Lloyd takes a strong grab. They finish with three tough games, the Swans. Geelong, Collingwood, and then the Brisbane Lions. Mm -hmm. Want to be in good shape before those three games. Oh, yeah. Wendelik toward Lucas. Thumb clear. Kirk throws it away. LRT, Jolly, Craig Bolton, Shaw, and they know now the Swans. The Swans be on them. Crouch to Bird, O'Loughlin. I can see on the clock, 22 minutes gone. Pops it up in hope. Grundy can't get the jump at it. McPhee with the fist. Shoveled out. Watson. First game back from that ankle problem. And he's been okay. Stanton. Love it. He runs. He spears. Lucas. Yeah, Scotty Lucas. Got no on the pass it too. So might just pull the socks up and have a big long ping. Gee, passes off again. He Lonigan. Must, he must be crook today, Scotty Lucas. He must have got some. There was no one in the square. He's crook. He's given away a hand pass in the must goal have given square. Him like a he's or something before the game. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's great to see him doing team things like that. He's worked hard, Scotty Lucas. Hasn't been an outstanding day for him. 14 possessions, a couple of goals. That's but he's worked nice hard. Things, he's yeah. contributed. Too much sportsmanship is fatal, though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, a little bit's great, but too much can be fatal. You do need a few goals next to your name sometimes in the paper the next day. But Scotty Lucas looking for assists at the moment. Doesn't get one there as Lonigan misses. Inside four minutes. Mount Chesky. Bird. Swans who have never missed the finals in a... Full season under Paul Ruse in danger now. O'Keefe shrugs an attempted at tackle, hands it up. The long bomb from Crouch. Too little, too late, you think. Yeah, a little bit too late, 27 points down, but uh, Jared Crouch, the Swans veteran, has. Uh, just got on the end of some handy work, but this is something we haven't seen enough of all day, is being able to run from deep in defence, break the forward 50 and kick goals. And uh, it's been a strength of the Sydney Swans over the years, but hasn't been there. And that's a credit to the um, Essendon side. Just been fantastic the way they've stayed with their opponents all day. Three minutes 19 and 27 points. The equation. Which is too much. It's kept Alan Even Davey. for the best ones, you'd think. Yep, it's kept Alan Davy to 13 possessions and just a couple of points. Jared Crouch hasn't been a bad day for yep. him. Jack wrapped up. Kirk, likewise. <laughs> Palmer okay. ball it up. I mentioned the Swans have Carlton next week at Eddie Head Stadium. Well, the Bombers have the Bulldogs also at Eddie Head Stadium next week. That'll be a beauty. You'd suggest that'd be a high tempo affair, plenty of pace. It's almost as if the Bombers don't play in anything but big games these days. Collingwood last week, Sydney at the SCG in an eight point game today. And then the dogs await them. Stanton dives in. Watson shoots it back to one of the men of the moment, Windley. Lonigan. You heard the call, not 15, nor's that from Prismore to Welsh. Hip and shoulder on Kirk short. Sore shoulder again. Bird back to Kirk. Balling. And sore. there is the pain on his face. And out on his feet. And was happy to see that one go on over the boundary line. He'll get back in for the next contest. And a solid bump, that one. Uh, but he continued to get to his feet and fight it out. He grimaced away from the camera. And then when he faced everyone again, put a smile on Kirk. Didn't want to show anybody the discomfort, Dempsey. 
Ryder. Thanks, Marty. Mike, Mike. Thank you. He might give this a ride. Mike. Thank you. Swans flooding back. Not a lot of space to lead into. Not 15. Not 15. 15. Well, Schmuck, that 25 20. minutes. Not 15 again. Dyson. Oh, they got, got a new tape measure. Yeah, they have. Well, the Kevin. Instructions come out uh, halfway through the third term just to pull them all up. And uh, that's amazing. Play on. McPhee. Toward the boundary. Ablett. No free for in the back there. And we'll get a ball up with 138. Let's have a look, Dwayne. Is it 15 metres? If that's not 15 metres, I don't know what is. Well, that's two goal squares, isn't it? Yeah. It's closer to 20. It's easy for us up here. Absolutely. We don't make yep. mistakes. No, that's right. We're perfect. McPhee. Could have been three wrong names at the start of the game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They've umpired well today, the umpires. They've been good. You should hear what they say about us, the umpires. Oh, scathing, though. Yeah. <laughs> Lewis Roberts Thompson back pocket and even that can't go right. Been the bombers day. Essendon led by four points at quarter time. They led by 18 at half time. The bombers by 31 at three quarter time. They currently lead by 27. Oh, they'll add to this. Prismal. Well, he's never kicked the goal for the bombers. Brent Prismal has been a very good pickup, but couldn't kick his first in the red and the black and didn't know how much space he had he could have run all the way to the top of the goal square then and kicked it he yep. was clear umpire still barking instructions that's a good one any forceful stuff and i'll pay a free kick that's right so little ones are okay yeah, mucking around i don't care big leap paddy Ryder. he's been good paddy Ryder. Yep. Uh, he's getting more involved as the game goes on yep. he hasn't had big possessions but that this will be number 12. Coming off that four-kick game last week, so he'd be happy with the form today. But Darren Jolly certainly hasn't dominated by no, any he's stretch. He's only right. had the ten, been very quiet. Stanton, off hands. Can't get some icing. No behind. So they've just slowly strangled the life out of this game in the final term, the Bombers. Started this term with 12 goals. They've now got 14, so it's been a relatively low-scoring final quarter. Fletcher and Goods. Goods takes him on. Fletcher didn't fall for it. Kirk about to get crunched one more time. McVeigh to Fletcher for the final blows. Windley. Appropriate that he's got it in his hands with the siren about to blow. Love it. Pops it towards Lloyd. Lucas will do. And that has been the story of the day. The two of them has shared it nicely. And Lucas with the final kick of the afternoon. <laughs> Big long thump on the left and it's there. They win by 35, the Bombers. They've missed the finals for the past four years. But they're tracking towards September now. 15 17, 107 for the Swans. 10 12, 72. A very good win for the Bombers, no doubt about that. Uh, they play a fast running game, but they were good in the stoppages today as well. And if you're going to play the Sydney Swans at their game, you don't want to do it at the SCG because there's not a lot of space up through the centre of the ground. But they've done it extremely well, worked hard offensively and worked extremely hard to shut down the Swans defensively as well. So they'd be very happy with this win. And Rowan Smith is downstairs with Jason Winderley. Thanks, Dwayne. Well, uh, Jason, it was a pretty important game for the club today, and you come up, the SCG and got a win. Yeah, they've been sensational up here for the whole year, so we knew it was a tough challenge. Like, they play a great great brand of football, like close, close, try and close down space. So, yeah, it was just great to get a win to cement our spot in the eight, because if we had a loss today, we'd go back behind the ledger to a seven and eight, and then it's all uphill from there. They are the number one tackling side in the comp. Did you speak about that during the week and say, OK, well, we've still got to take them on? Yeah, it was a matter of we knew they gang tackled, so it was a matter of just absorbing two or three tacklers and then feeding it out because then we'll have the three boys. Because obviously, if guys are leaving their man to come and get us or tackle someone, that leaves someone open. So I thought we did that well today. 
conditions today, the ground looked very slippery. Yeah, it was. Like in the middle, it's a bit hard, but uh, I think they've had a bit of rain up here. And it was a little bit slippery out wide, but other than that, I thought it was in terrific, Nick. It's a pretty exciting time to be around the club at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like I've said a few times this year that I'm only 24, and I think today I was probably about the fifth or sixth oldest player. So, see guys like, like Kyle Remus, Courtney Dempsey and that, they play a terrific brand, like, and one that Matthew Knights obviously lets us go out and play, and it's just yeah, pretty exciting. Is that uh, Matthew Knights' direction? Just go out there, boys, take them on, use your speed? Yeah, it is. Like That's that's uh, obviously our game plan, and obviously we still got to work on the defensive side a little bit uh, when we when we do turn the ball over, but when we do go, yeah, we try and go as hard as we can. And yourself, uh, you're in terrific form at the moment, and you've had a great season after having back surgery. What do you put it down to? Um, I think I, I worked pretty hard um, for the pre-season that I did get. I didn't start training until pretty much on Christmas Day, so um, the medical staff and I think um, Knight has done a terrific job in the way He's uh, rotated me either through the midfield or in the forward line. So, yeah, I'm just still just trying to plug away. Well, Jase, congratulations on your form and congratulations on the win today. Well done, mate. Cheers. Thanks, Smitty. Uh, Jason win the leg downstairs with Rowan Smith. Matty Knights has done a good job. The last time these two teams met, it was up here in Sydney. And Sydney smashed Essendon by 91 points when Matty Knights was young in the chair. Well, they're kicking on now and they're hunting down the finals after a 35-point win.